What's happening? Shadow of the air tree. Here we go. Oh, chat. It's time. It's time. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Yo, Saint, thank you for the Prime sub. MNRK, you know, let me turn off donate. Uh, let me turn off notifications. And travel to the realm the, of shadow. The full immersion. Be far behind. May we meet again. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. All right. Here we go. Hey, Michael, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, man. Wait, there's an item there. I never noticed that before. It's also a church. Looks like it. Remove chat. Porn acting? I actually haven't seen... Okay, so chat, I have played the DLC. I did get invited to the Bandai Namco preview event. So I have seen a decent amount of... Uh, I, I've seen a small amount of stuff. <laughs> but my god, just look at it. Just look at it. Do you, okay, do you guys want me to remove chat? What do you, what do you guys think? Yes? No? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what are my stats right now? So I'm level 200. Look at this though, chat. Like this, so this was, when I saw this, this part, this was one of the first things I saw when I went to the preview event and I was just like, God, it's just so beautiful. And if you think, oh, this is not, this is nothing. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. God, I just, I cannot wait to see what this DLC has in store, man. Alright, I don't really know what weapon I want to use, actually. Oh yeah, so there are these new fruits. Radif oh yeah. You know what? Okay, so the DLC, it added two new options to the menu, by the way. You can mark new items and turn on recent items tab. And so you can just instantly see. Alright, I don't know. I guess I'll take chat off screen if I feel like more people want it removed. But anyways, you can see your new items. So, I still don't know what this fruit is used for, but this is definitely something you're supposed to feed to Torrent. I 
I never found the recipe for it, but I'm very curious. Like, surely it's not just healing, right? Oh, man. Dude, look at that mountain, though. Show map. So this is the map when you start out. We should probably go to the map, uh, the map right away. I'm going to be trying to fully explore the map as best as I can anyways. Wait, what talismans do I have on? Yeah, I'll read item descriptions. If you guys want me to. Hello, pupper. It's a fire. What the? So, a lot of enemies in this DLC drop smithing stones, but from the from the amount, the small amount I played, I did not find that many guaranteed smithing stones around the map. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm playing the DLC right now. Just wasn't the same doing it off stream, man. Wait, what? I never got this. Black steel great hammer. Weapon of the Black Knights, Servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Great hammer of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an air tree incantation. Further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Wait. Wait, this... Wait. I actually want to use this. It has endure. Do you think it's a smithing stone weapon? Because I have a, I have a faith build. No, I'm not porn acting. Oh, okay. So these are the fragments. I, I swear, chat. I did not find this weapon. Because I, I was like annoyed when I was playing because I couldn't, I didn't find a, a faith weapon for so long. <laughs> okay, guys. Wait, what is over here? I found this item. I remember this item. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, right. Yeah. Divine blessings are back, <laughs> by the way. Oh my god, chat. Oh, I'm so happy to be streaming it with you guys. I wonder if you can get up there. Hey, eternally blissed. Thank you for the prime sub. B2, thank you for the prime. Braxen, thank you. Flex, thank you for the two months. What is this? Some knot resin? It's a knot shaped lump of resin that exuded from the roots of trees. Found near tree roots everywhere in the realm of shadow. So, this is for, I think, the better grease, from what I remember. How long did I play off stream? I played around like 10 hours off stream. I will say about half of that was spent going through this one area like five times in a row because I couldn't find, I didn't find like anything in this one area. And I did, I just, 
I felt like I was missing something, so I just ran around the area, like, for hours. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've explored, like, this whole region now, I think. Let's go. Let's go. Is there a grace here? The tree. Oh yeah, look at the freaking tree. We're we're gonna get a better look at it later, anyways. It's kind of far away. Uh, our first cookbook. Hef, hef, spoiler. What do you mean spoilers? What you don't? You think this is the closest we're gonna get to that thing? <laughs> okay, we got a hefty fire pot. We don't have the pot for it though yet. an item. Oh! Nice. Shadow Realm Rune 2. So these, ru like, the runes, I don't know how big they go up to in the DLC. I think I only found a 3 or maybe a 4. But they, st I mean, a two gives 10,000, so. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. And so these fragments, uh, these are the DLC mechanic, by the way, chat. So you can see here a splinter of the Scatter Tree that contains golden brilliance acquired at the Church of America and other places in the Realm of Shadow. Consume these at Sites of Grace to bolster your Scatter Tree blessing. This bolsters the ability to deal, the bearer's ability to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the DLC. It is said that when the Scatter Tree crumbles from its core, that it will scatter across the entire realm of shadow. The people of the Air Tree collect the splin splinters and use them in prayer. I think there's... I think there's more loot I missed. Oh yeah, do you guys want to see the Gigapot? I guess we can use it on an enemy. Alright, what do we got in here? The Blade of Mercy. I did pick this up before. I can't remember... Oh yeah. Raises attack power after each critical hit. This would have been so good for the Ruin Level 1 run. I don't know how long it lasts for, but it's a thin bloodstained dagger no longer fit for use. Hornscent employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken, but has acquired a spectral aura. I also tried to climb this thing. I don't think you can, but it I got close. <laughs> I thought there might be something up there, but I don't think there is. All right, I'm gonna go to the west. The 
hope I didn't miss anything here. Oh, it's raining out, chat. I love it when it rains. Yo, Gabri Gabriel, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, man. Oh, God. See, and like, look at the drop, look at the drops from the enemies in this, like plus three. It's so, <laughs> like who's coming in with a, with a, like a plus six weapon, dude. Who's going to need those? But I mean, it's, I guess it's good because you can tech, technically you could go through the DLC with, I, I'm pretty sure you could come in with like an unupgraded weapon and, and potentially fully upgrade it, but it would definitely take a while. I wonder if these birds have like a unique weapon because the the birds in Stormvale have the talon, right? Is there? Oh, there's a stake here. Oh, what do I have in my physic? Lightning? I will try the pod. So yeah, I fought this guy before. This crossbow is disgusting. Die. <laughs> 500. Wonder if I can backstab him. Wait, can I? Can I even? Oh, I can still status effect him. Yeah, we can go back. When I find another Grace, I could go back and tr try out the hammer. Maybe I should try. Oh, I need drinks. Dude, this guy's got some, like, crazy resistances. I should probably use Golden Bow. Ooh, shit. I don't- I don't know about these weapons for this fight. I don't like I, f I feel like I don't do any hit stun. What the hell is he doing?
bad. Alright, what do we get from this guy? Ah, yes, the Great Sword of Solitude. So this has that, that attack he was doing. It's got the weapon art. A steel greatsword wielded by the knights of the solitary jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth and the other solitude. Follow-up's pretty cool. It is just strength and dex, though. I want to try out that hammer I got. The black steel. Actually seems pretty cool. Uh, there's no grace here. Okay. Oh yeah, the armor, right. Steel, uh, let's see. Part of a heavy armor set that covers the whole body and overlapping plates of steel. The nameless mausoleums of the realm of shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Oh, that does look pretty sick. I don't think I can wear this, though. That's pretty good. Move set of this on the. It's not bad. All right. <laughs> it's a tanky sheep. Oh, it's a blood stain. I want to grab this grace first so we can go back and upgrade this weapon. And so I am going to use these fragments. When I played when I played before I tried not using them and it was like it was kind of rough. So I'm just going to I'm just going to have like I'm going to use the mechanic the way you intended to. Uh all right, let's go. Oh yeah. So at each one of these there's words left from I think Mikola. Carved words coalesce. I abandoned here the first flesh of my body. Ah, Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. If you've yet to do so, be- This guy? Fie. Another. Try is fucking creepy. Mikola. Then. He's got a face made of maggots. Say, we are in our purposes well aligned. But understand, your kind are not forgiven. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. By Marika long betrayed. Set aflame. I believe Mikela's apologies when he says our delivery will come. That's rope? But never oh, maybe it is rope. Your kind well, it looks gross. Party. And yet my oath I cannot overlook. If Mikela it is whom you would seek, then comrade, allow me to give you this. These are the sights of the crosses I found. I urge you, follow after Mikela as long as you abide by his footfalls. You will be no enemy to me. So when this guy said this the first time... I don't... I was just thinking, I don't know if this guy could end up being an enemy. He he sounds like... Kind of sussy. So 
Spoilers? I have no idea. That was just my first thought when I talked to that guy before. Uh, Alright, let's upgrade this bad boy. I assume this is going to be smithing stone. Alright. And we can put an Ash of War on it. go for let's try the flame I mean I have the, I have 65 faith chat oh right it had well wait do I not have the blade for holy or actually no I guess this I can't do can I not do holy with RKR I guess I could try. Guard counters cause a burst of power. Hmm. Is this the weapon you were talking about? No, I actually never found this weapon when I played before, believe it or not. I actually didn't, guys. I, di <laughs> I didn't. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna change my physic. <laughs> this guy drops an item that is very interesting uh, I haven't actually experimented with it but we're definitely going to try it out So, I don't actually know how this enemy works. You, when you hit its legs, it like stuns, but... See, so I stunned both legs, but then... Like, he's still not... <laughs> he's still not down. Oh no, that's... gonna sit there forever Ooh. 
<laughs> well, that was unfortunate. See, okay, I can try to just keep hitting the same leg, but I really just, I don't know. I don't really understand how it works. Uh, dude, can you not? This, it's gonna happen again. <laughs> you know, get over here. He's kicking rocks. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I don't know. <laughs> he should go down now. There we go. Please let me let me kill you this time. How much damage? Oh. All right. <laughs> so this is one, uh, super interesting. It's a crystal tear formed slowly over the ages where the scattered sap, of the scatter tree pools deep within the furnace golems can be mixed in the physic. This resu uh, results in enhanced spontaneous guard. Damage negation and guard poise will be heightened in the moment immediately after assuming a guarding stance. Successfully executing a spontaneous guard will also strengthen guard counters. So this weapon that I have says guard counters cause a burst of power. And I have a physic for, for it now. So I want to try it. <laughs> hey, uh, Immortalis, thank you for the five gifted subs. And thank you for the sub as well. Oh yeah, the other item. Sorry. Um, this is, I have no idea what this is used for, but the description, it's a smaller imitation of the furnace golem's visage, material used for crafting items exceedingly rare to find, a stone mask surrounded by curled horns depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent. So, this is a, like, very limited crafting material, but I have no idea what it's crafted for. Not a clue. All right. Uh, where do I... I don't know which direction I want to go right now. I didn't actually look... Hold on, I wanna go, I wanna like go along the right side here real quick. This might be the most annoying enemy in the entire DLC, by the way. These guys are fucked. This is like a Sekiro enemy. Oh, God. Ooh. 
Ooh. I never got... Uh, I wonder how many RNG weapon drops there's going to be. Or just, uh, like, RNG drops in general. What was it called? Ascetics Bracer? Ah. Risk guards of the tower's ascetics which embody their commitment to an austere existence of strict self-control. In order to ascend from their mortal flesh into tutelary deities of the land, they heighten their spirituality through severe ascetic training. Huh. Oh wait, what's that over there? Wait, is this like a nighttime only event or something? Oh. Huh. So funny. Okay, I I actually found one of these before, but I think it actually only happens at nighttime. Because I never. I found this. I did not find this one. And this is so. This is like right at the start of the game. I actually think the larval tears might be nighttime only. I'm not. I, I, I genuinely didn't make the connection before, but I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Exceptionally rare creature that burgeons from spirit graves and lives only a fleeting existence. Neither flesh nor spirit, but something in between. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala. So yeah, it's a, it's a different version of the larval tier. It's green. Good script tonight. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. What is this item? Ah, nice. Oh. Wait a sec. Okay, yeah, I was down there. That's where I killed. I hope I didn't miss anything down there. I feel like I probably did. So this is another item. Um, these are called spirit ashes, and you basically, it's like the scouted tree fragments, and they boost your summon damage and your spectral steed's ability to deal and negate damage. So I think that's like, tor I guess, tor your attacks on horseback get increased. But I think a summon only run might be possible because of that, uh, those items. Well, I think I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm using the weapon that drops over there. <laughs> There's so many graves. I know. All your resentment lingers yet. The raw stuff from which I shall surely forge a curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head. Upon Merica's children, each and all. Can I shoot? Wait, hanging by. Uh... I don't think so. It hit him. Oh, this guy's got a pot. Wait. Wait a second, are they like crystal lizards?
Give me your goodies. Oh, a scatter tree fragment from this guy. Nice. So I knew those guys dropped. So the, I think those guys can drop fragments or... Uh... Oh. Wait, there's a painting here. The Sacred Tower. Work of a wandering artist reminiscent of a painting titled The Sacred Tower. This painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and the vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. Alright chap, be on the lookout for that location. <laughs> Try jumping off. I would rather not. What the heck? An army of these guys. Oh! This is the... I actually didn't find this when I played before. So yeah, this weapon art is insane for PvP, I think. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't actually know where you found this item because we got this, they gave us this weapon in the Bandai Namco preview event, but I didn't, um, I never found it like in the land. I wonder if there's anything by this tree. stream is dying? I don't think so. You sure it's not on your end? Oh. There's an item here. I like this hammer, honestly. This feels pretty good. Brave Glove Wart. Yeah, I think that weapon might actually be a guaranteed drop. Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up the path. Oh man. I wonder what's there. No, I mean I so I, I have explored this castle before I, I did I I beat the boss in this castle. How much did I play? Uh, well, I got invited to the Bandai Namco preview event, and I played a little bit off stream, but there is a lot of stuff I have not seen. I've, I've mainly just done like a, a good amount of this, a bit of the starter stuff. Just a casual 10 hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. A lot of it was spent in the overworld. The tarnished. I am Ansbach. Ansbach. Formerly in service to Lord Moog. But now, like you, another soul guided by kindly Mikola. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind me. Which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. To discern tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. I'd I mean, the thing is, I've already found a few things I haven't seen. Master, unless I know that I can be of use. May I request a service of you? What's up? Six crosses identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. 
they are akin to tender Nicholas footprints or gravestones which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you, too, are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. If you discover any, be certain to tell me. Hello, Mr. Potman. Uh, together, we work. Together, for Mikola the kind. Many things we have found. Hmm. Sealed spirit springs. I'm buying that. Sanguine. I'm just gonna buy all of this stuff. You never know when you're gonna need it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Broken room. Five hundred. This is a bit better. Talk to him. Do you think he has? Oh wait, did did he have a prompt? A talk prompt? Oh. I like finding things for you, Lady Letter, her allies, and the Forager Brute. Things bring joy to all. I like for you things. Oh, okay. goodbye. What does this one say? I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. I'm level 200. I'm a bit high level. <laughs> But these are my stats. As you can see, they're kinda all over the place. <laughs> oh. Smash. So I wonder, does Prayerful Strike heal based on... Like, if I hit multiple enemies, it'll heal me more, I think, right? Man, the AoE of it is really not that great, though. Okay, more Spirit Boost. Shadow Realm Ruin. Liar ahead. Secret ahead. Or. <laughs> oh, a somber too. Man, this weapon is pretty sick. I mean, it doesn't have a unique Ash of War. Oh, hello. Man, I feel like... I feel kinda... I'm feeling kinda OP right now. Got this on story mode. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, the jump attack is doing so- what, what am I, stunning them in one jump attack with this thing? Was made for level 100? I don't know. I mean, my, my build is pretty- is pretty spread out. The thing is, chat, you could easily be doing so much more damage than I am doing. With, uh, with way less levels. This weapon is pretty fucking good, though. Oh, you're alive? 
what you got. Damn. Oh yeah, let me try the guard counter. Yeah, yeah. Starlight. Ooh, ooh, okay. Dude, the posture damage is ridiculous. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm just one one hit staggering everything. Try the tier. Uh, yeah, I can, yeah I'll, I'll pop the tier. Wait, was my recovery time faster there too? Hmm. That is pretty good. Oh. oh yeah, so I don't know what these do. Oh yeah. Oh no, I do remember what they do. So it's an old currency used by horn scent made by coating spiral horns with silver temporarily boosts item discovery. It can be sold for a high price. I th How much discovery do, do we get from this? 60? Hmm. Does it stack with the foots? That's a good question. Better than a foot, though. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, we'll use two. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to try to... This guy is an absolute monster. Yeah, this weapon is kind of cracked. Like, actually. Oh, oh shit! That's an RNG drop. I'm, I'm like 99% sure. Horn calling invokes tangled horns to cover the weapon's blade. Where is it? I don't feel like I remember using this. Is it up a follow-up? Oh, it's Faith as well. Mm. Bach just fought that guy and didn't get that drop. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess it is RNG then. Good old streamer luck. Triple strike is kind of kind of sick. <laughs> wow, a lot of we found a lot of smithing stone fives. I feel like. Some string. Ah, uh, yes, just what I wanted. Do great hammers normally hit this fast? Like, <laughs> why? Why is this is so crazy, man? I, I gen, I swear, chat. I did not find this weapon. Otherwise, I would have used it. I ended up using Blasphemous Blade for like a few hours because I just didn't find a faith weapon that I wanted to use. <laughs> More smithing stones. Well, depths key. Wait, we okay. So we got two keys. A key with a spiral engraving opens the door to the storeroom on the second floor of the Bellarat, the tower settlement. And then the well depths key opens the iron grating the bottom of the well. This would be a skip, actually. Well, maybe not, act. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, this hammer is unreal. It's the po the poise is fucking crazy. I don't know if it's higher than other great hammers or what. Okay, so that's where I came up. Nice little shortcut. This is very exciting, thank you. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> mm, okay. I do want to make sure that I try to fully explore everything. I'm I'm in no rush. There's definitely stuff that I've mi I missed in the past. I mean, I've already found quite a few things that I Wait. 
Speak of the devil, I don't... I don't... Did I... Oh, God. I wish. Isn't there a talisman that also boosts guard counters? Do I have it? Guarding ability. Oh. Oh, hello. I abandon here my arm sinistral. God, I'm gonna have to wave her body on that one. What is this? Oh, I did not find this. I actually didn't find this. I did not find this path. Raises attack power when summoned spirit dies. Giant bouquet. Oh, oh, a quaint bouquet of dried flowers offered to a small grave. Raises attack power when a spirit you have summoned dies. The sorrow that flows from the untimely demise of a loved one is a tenderness shared by all, regardless of birthplace. Sick. Okay. Alright, well, I think. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go down here. I'm so close to killing them. Two shots. <laughs> oh my god. That was oh, that was such a big heal. What is fly mold? A species of fungus known for its deathly sweet stench. Found by hunting manflies. Cultivated using the flesh and blood of manflies, it can serve as pot innards. Hmm. Lovely. Did I just get healed by prayerful strike there? That was weird. I swear I got healed before his grab. Dude, the what the that heals so much? It's so good. another one of these guys. Sneaky. Pop. Oh no, no, not the bird. Oh no. Yeah, for anybody who's just tuned in, this weapon that I have is 
It specifically has an effect for guard counters. You can see further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Oh my god, that guy hurt. Yeah, I got this from the church down here. It's actually funny. I'm I this is going way easier than when I played before. This weapon is kind of nuts. Maybe you being level 200 helps. I mean, I like, dude, I have 20 points in Int and Arcane, which are doing nothing for me right now. That's 40 levels. <laughs> oh God. Got golden eyes. Okay, so there was a path down there through that. Oh, you know what? Wait, can you? It looks like you can maybe get up. A... Maybe not. Whatever, we have the area cleared out. Bone bow. Okay, I actually feel like... So strong right now. Yeah, I'll check the bow. Give me a sec. We got a good amount of runes. Uh, the weapon was at base upgrade when I found it. Okay. So this bow is very interesting. It has a unique Ash of War. It's a medium for spirit calling, a product of the ancient hexing arts of the tower. It has Rancor shot, imbue arrows with vengeful spirits before firing off a barrage. Imbued arrows chase down foes as they cut through the air. So yeah, it's auto-tracking. Oh no. A look at the city.
God, I, I love this, like, drape effect that they have. It's so cool. God, I just, I can't wait to see it. Like, there's got to be some crazy, uh, it's just, there's got to be some insane shit, dude. I cannot wait to see what they've cooked up. <laughs> Loot behind the tree. This tree? Yeah. You're, you lied. Oh, hold on. I want to go use the keys that I found. I, do I want to go here? Hello. Who art thou? It's Enya. By the look of thee, another of Mesmer's peons, me six. Tell me, does thy kind never weary grow? How do these old bones fascinate thee yet? Our lands were by thy kind set aflame. Our tower by thy kind veiled in shadow. Thou capest. Robbing us of all, spoiling all. Have ye not basked in these deeds long enough? Listen, progeny of the wanton strumpet. For thy sins thou shalt have What is strumpet? The sacred beast shall unleash its ire. A female prostitute. Then with this old what? hag, do what thou wilt. What the fuck the did you call me, lady? It'll do thee in the end. For what reason dost thou falter, villain? Enact thy sordid work with fullest pride. Else tuck away thy tail and leave for good. Loathsome issue of the rotten strumpet. Hey, stop using that word. Well, tis no surprise. Thou hast thy choice made. <laughs> Does thou wait? But still must I ask, is killing me truly within thy power? Didst thou imagine I would beg thee cease? Nay, nay, do what thou wilt to this poor soul. Heaven shall judge thee all for thy deeds. <laughs> A curse upon thee, rotten miscreant. A curse upon the strumpet's <laughs> progeny. Upon Merrick's children, each and all. The curse of the omen shall strike thee down in the form of the sacred beast's ire. You know, Malika's armor actually fits pretty well with the hammer. Like Make aesthetically, the curse to the very last. I'm going to go. Coming through, fellas. Jesus. 
<laughs> oh god, I hear Larks is squealing. That would have been a side quest. Oh, Jesus. Can I use... I wonder if I could use... I guess if I didn't put an Ash of War on this, I could probably infuse it. Seems familiar. I should put down some messages. So yeah, I did come down here before, and this area is super confusing. There's... I didn't, like, find anything, but there's... There's one thing that I was trying to figure out. Oh. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Tree Spirit's back. I think I could block his attacks. this you think hey, I did <laughs> probably better just to R1 spam I have no idea what this guy drops. I can't remember for the life of me, honestly. Let's see, a golden seed. Oh yeah, I was, oh fuck. This is why I didn't remember, because it's shit. I don't think I've ever actually used those horns before. Maybe once when I was going through the Lake of Rot. Maybe they're good for PvP. Okay, so this is, there is what looks like a pathway here and a door, right? But there's, I... I could not find any way up there. Just zip. Zips are fixed. Can I look at the painting again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a look. I don't know.
Wait, I got a note? Oh, the sealed spirit springs? Got some crazy poise. Oh, wait, I have two of them now. Yo, power stance, curve sword, faith build. Poisoned hand. Poison Spear Hand Strike, a glove stitched together from the flayed skin of the victims of a blood butcherous bloodbath. A flick's target with deadly poison raises attack power when poisoning occurs, forged of an unyielding black impulse toward revenge fostered in those who have had everything burned or stolen from them. These are the weapons of the utterly downtrodden. Poison Spear Hand Strike makes hands into the shape of a spear before unleashing a plunging stab that penetrates the body of the enemy, afflicts foe with a large dose of deadly poison. This definitely looks like a challenge run weapon, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wait, what are the stat requirements? Can I use it? 28 arcane. Oh wait, I can put on... Just to see the... Sick. basically just a fist weapon. <laughs> I mean, if it applies poison easily, though, you could have it on, like, an offhand and just proc poison for an attack power buff. Assuming, because it says it uh, inflicts, like, a large dose of poison. I never actually tested it. Oh, yeah, that Yeah, this is this is the only thing I found in the swamp uh, when I did it before. But like, it look it looks like it goes over there, right? It looks like an interactable door to me, but may, it could just be part of the environment. Oh, should you chance upon a sealed spirit spring, look for stacked stones nearby. By toppling them, you may break the seal. So yeah, you just get the shortcut, so I don't, I really don't know. All right, it's boss time, chat. The first boss. So I have killed this guy. There's three bosses that I have killed. Spoilers? I mean, uh, sorry, I guess. <laughs> Who's the golden summon? Oh, I actually have no idea. Yeah, I will let you guys know, like, 
I, I, I have seen all of this castle before, and there's like one overworld area that I've seen a lot of. But past that, I've uh, it's gonna be completely blind. So. Half of the DLC, no, it was. It was really not that much. I have no idea if the lady is related, the lady in that storeroom is related to this lion guy, but I'm not really sure how or if there's like a quest line attached to it. We buff up. I fought this guy before, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna die to him. <laughs> I this what uh, this weapon is good, but I don't know. Yeah, this boss is so incredibly hard to read. It's insane. This random lightning is going to be an absolute nightmare for, like, no-hit runners as well, I feel. Like, it's so fucked, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. That was good. Oh, oh. Let me try the guard counters. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> this weapon is really good for... For, uh, for PvE, just like clearing the zone, but for the boss, I actually don't feel like it's that strong. Oh, I'm fat. Mm. Let's just change my armor. I'm trying to guard counter, but like, I don't know if I can on this guy. You can see this guy's butt sometimes, by the way. We haven't seen it yet, but sometimes his ass gets exposed. Oh. Yeah, this is new. Oh my god. This is new game. Just, just chill out. Just 
chill out, bro. What's happening? <laughs> so you can... Oh, you can get a charge R2 and get that. I don't even know what he's doing right now. Am I alive? <laughs> yeah, I fought this guy before, by the way. Still getting killed. I will say my first... Uh, I was using Power Stance Greatswords for this guy the first time, and it was definitely a lot easier. My damage was, like, way, way higher. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to change... I'm gonna change my talisman here because it's not really doing me any good here. I'll put on a jump tally. And I'm gonna put on the holy boost. Alright, I will check the summon. Let's see. Red main Freya. Yeah, this is, well, this can be one of the first boss fights. It depends. I feel like I need to buff before I enter the arena. He's so aggressive. Okay, big charge R2 there. This guy's hitting so hard though, still, like even with the fragments on. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how to punish that properly. Dude, the, this random lightning is so brutal. I don't think I could have scraped that. Oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, time to focus up. I'm popping a rune arc. No more, no more goofing around. Yeah, I guess endure would actually be really good. You know what? Let me try to change my weapon art. I do have enough scatter tree to improve it one more time. I guess I'll do it. I just have to go standard though. It's kind of awkward. Because it has Endure base. I don't think I bought Endure. Eh, whatever. Honestly, we don't need it. I wish I could put... I wonder if Flame would be good against this guy. Let's try a Cold Hammer. Well, actually, will Cold even work on him? <laughs> he, has a, he has a frost form. Wait, it's in the top right? Oh. Oh, I still ca I can't make it sacred though. Do I do I not have the blade for that? Or can you just not I'm confused. Which which blade is it for that? It's in lane Dell. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, I don't actually have that one. I tried to roll through that. Yeah, this damage is way worse, though. But I guess I can proc a Frostbite, maybe. Oh, there we go. We got Frost. Okay, that's pretty good. Can I get a Charger, too? Totally know what's happening. This might be it. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> the remembrance of the dancing lion. And he also drops this. <laughs> this helm is insane, by the way. Uh, it has, like, the highest physical negation that I've seen. Ritual headwear in the form of divine beast's head, used to perform the lion dance, worn by the very finest of the sculpt keepers. Alas, it no longer responds to the old woman's earnest prayer. Divine invocation heightens intensity of the storm alongside strength and dex, but reduces the restorative effect of drinking from a flask of sacred tears. Focus is also troubled. So this boosts intensity of the storm alongside strength and dex. 
It's four strength and four dex. But yeah, look at this fucking thing. My my arm is in my mouth. I will go back, and we will check the Remembrance. So there is the Enraged Divine Beast. I still don't know what this does exactly, because I, I don't know what Storms even means, but... A charm depicting the crazed, cavorting dance of the Divine Beast conducted at the Tower Festival raises potency of Storms. Divine beasts are messengers of the heavens, and their rage mirrors the tumult of the skies, of which storms are the pinnacle. The storm ash of wars? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. And then there's also Divine Beast Stomp. I'm actually gonna get this. Hold on, I'll read it. It's the new Hoarfrost. Divine Beast Frost Stomp, a skill which imitates the wrath of the Divine Beast Dance. Lifts the leg up high and stamp it down with great force. Sends a powerful wave of frost straight out along the ground. It can be charged to increase the power and range. Can I put that on this? I can. I gotta say though, having cold is like pretty bad considering I have so much faith, but... But I, even if I find the Holy Knife, I don't think that that Ash of War will allow it. Oh yeah, wait, does he have armor? I don't actually know. Doesn't look like it. What helmet was I wearing before? I, mean, I guess we can use this helmet, it's just kind of, uh, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> it is four strength and four dex on a helmet though, that's kind of insane actually. But you do, it also nerfs your healing. Oh, right, I was using the black... Wait, where is that armor? Oh, here we go. It's like a dream. Is this the bridge? I don't think so. I don't... Actually, I don't know. I don't... No, I don't... No, this is a different spot, completely. Another Spirit Ash. Uh, I could try to go back to the old woman. I think I did that before, and I don't... I don't know, we'll, we'll check. God, look at this, though. Look at the view. Beautiful. You're just looking at the fog? No. I'm looking at everything. Look at this, though. Like, what is this? Hour of Shadow Message. Message left by Needle Knight Leda addressed to kindred spirits who also pursue Mikola's trail. The gate of divinity lies in the tower sealed by shadow. That is surely where kind Mikola is headed. 
We are no Empyreans, but we must locate the path that will lead us there. I will follow the crosses east. Sealed and obscured by shadow. Dude, I... Oh, I'm so excited to see what's behind this. <laughs> oh my god. I found this before, but I... I have no idea what's behind there. Not a fucking clue. That looks so cool, though. So I guess there's no grace up here, though. Right, I think we've seen mostly everything in the castle, unless I miss stuff, which is very possible, but... <clears throat> I used the well key. Oh wait, you guys wanted me to check the old lady. Right. I think I want to get some pizza tonight as well. It's gonna be great. I saw an item for a sec over there. Oh, there is an item. Somber four, huge dude. It's not like we can buy those from EG or anything. <laughs> can kill her now. She had, yeah, I guess she did have a. Okay, I, I, I guess I'll kill her. She doesn't have anything else to say, so maybe she dropped something. Talk with head on. That's not a bad idea, actually. Oh, 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 such a joy to smell the scent again. Does a sculpted keeper stand before me? Oh. As I felt the sacred beast's essence fade, a great anxiety welled up within. Forgive this old woman her foolish fears. It is such relief I cannot express. After yeah, I was gonna kill her. Eternity of the mind. Our voices have at last reached. No, you, I think you do need the mask because I just tried to talk to her and she didn't say anything. Gracious arrival! Oh. All right. Oh. You got anything good for me? Oh. I implore, vessel of the sacred beast, have my son accompany me. Son. And dance. Oh, you think she's gonna give me a summon? Beauteous collar. Take vengeance upon Mesmeridis' lot. They who betrayed us, I, they who burned us, let them face Let's their see. wrath, their just deserts. My song will I sing in service to thee. Oh, a spell. O sculpted keeper, channel thy collar. Into the most resplendent of dances, my song will I sing in service to thee. I, I had no idea about this. It's an incantation. Summon a guardian spirit above the caster's head. The spirit never strays far from the caster, conjuring several apparitions before dissipating. Huh. Let's try it. And those who plague the Thank you, lady. 
Yeah, it's the skull spell. My soul. I'm not gonna kill her, guys. She called you a strumpet? Yeah, well, she gave me a spell, so I forgive her. Let's see, do you have anything new to say? Oh. Oh. Oh, you must mean some more. I didn't even know some you could talk to this guy more. Stalwart ally. He provisions our little outfit. Some more traffics with the forager brood. His brethren, who collect supplies from all corners of the land. No doubt they find inspiration in his many virtues. These are not your foes tarnished. Should you spot any forager brood, be sure to mind your manners. Righteous Tarnit. Well, I'm much obliged. As suspected, kindly Mikola has visited the lands which hold the tower, and appears intent on wholly dispossessing himself of his flesh. He must be seeking entrance to the Tower of Shadow. The Tower Righteous of Tarnit. Shadow. That's, I think that's where we were before, where it was sealed. Pathway here. Is there anything down here? See, can I use the spell on horseback? Oh, I can. Wow, this is. Uh, it's a spell. One K damage. I think that was part of my weapon attack. Oh, you know what? Let's try the. Ooh. Wait, is Horfrost back? Back, dude. That's pretty fast. Wait, you can charge it? Oh, shit. You can use Godfrey's icon with the... Okay. Plus seven was a big mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the hammer is so fast. It's actually so good. Ooh, what do we have over here? Mushrooms? Am I on NG7? No. I'm just on new game. Found some dogs. Throwing the hammer? I can't throw the hammer. Charger 2 just... It's just a Charger 2 attack. 
Okay, another Spirit Ash. I'm going to explore this little ruins first. I have not actually seen this area, by the way. So I, have no, I have no idea what's here. Dude, I'm just destroying these guys. Yeah, I know. It's unfortunately Chad is going to be doing Kappa until the very end. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got another pop boy. Ooh, a scattered tree fragment. Nice. You know, I should probably write down the scatter tree fragments, because, like, they're... I mean, obviously I'll do a challenge run without them at some point, but... Cloverwood. Yo, what's up, Baru? The fragments increase your damage and your defense, uh, basically. Try the spell again? Yeah, I could try it again. Where am I? Alright, let's see. How much damage is it going to do? I don't know what type of damage it deals. Maybe holy? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's a spell. <laughs> With the mask, uh, the mask boosts the spell, maybe. No, I'm on, I'm on, I'm just on new game. I am on new game. Alright, what do we got here? I explore more. I feel like... I, what do you guys think? Do you think I've been doing a good job exploring? I'm trying to be pretty thorough, honestly. Beast blood. Finding a bunch of crafting materials along. Here. Oh, wait. Praise the dung. What?
Wait, what is that little thing? Oh. Well, a lot of people have died here. Oh. I see. Watch this, guys. What is that? Blood Fiend's arm. Colossal weapon arcane. Oh, it's arcane. Wait, why is it arcane? An arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack. Ooh. Interesting. So does that... So it, like, bleeds then, I guess? When you... Oh. That's pretty cool. You think I can climb this? I guess I'll loot the chest. Oh. What do we got? Ooh. Oh, arcane boost. Plus five. Nice. A talisman engraved with the lore of an outer god raises arcane. The clan who lost everything in the great fires peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. I'm not fucking acting! I haven't seen this area! Okay, dude. Oh, wait. This guy, this guy had the same idea. See an item. Another dude, another somber four. <laughs> Fuck off, chat. <laughs> Friendship. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Fire... what? Pickled liver... Am I blind? Oh wait, here it is. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> God ahead. God. You know what? 
Torrent needs some berries. I don't even have the better berries for Torrent. Here you go, bud. Yeah, you can heal Torrent with Estus as well. Ooh, one shot. Smithing five. Hello, mister. Do you have anything good for me? Should I kill it, chat? Oh my god. <laughs> Rip side quest? I <laughs> I don't know about that. It's just wildlife, really. Oh man, there's like a big storm going on here. Oh, what is this? Oh. Hefty lightning pot. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm being bullied! <laughs> Torrin needs some more raisins. Oh, is this a dungeon? Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm curious, do you... How many people in chat actually attack on the left and right hand when they're on horseback? I feel like everybody just defaults to like one side. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Hold on, is there anything else over here? Uh, oh no, that's where I found the big, the big ram, the big chonker. <laughs> what do we got up here? Oh, another painting! Where is that? Wait. Uh, have we seen this? I'm not! A oh, fuck off, chat. Alright, you know what? Whatever. Yeah, keep posting your kappas. I don't care. 
Hey, NC Kane, thank you for the the six months. Incursion. Alright, let's see. The painter is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location. Yeah, okay. Same as, same as last time. I guess they're all probably going to have the same, same text. Is there anything else here? Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, there's a church! Oh, wait, that we saw the church! At the start. Oh, we can get that item now, probably. I jump down, you think? I'm kinda scared. Wait, what the fuck? Where does that go? Oh, FP restore. Yo, nice. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the air tree would drip from its boughs forever, but that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time the air tree became more an object of faith. This guy suck at acting. <laughs> Fuck off. I am not acting, chap. Oh, okay, so this was the path. Oh, no. This was the pathway. man <laughs> it's the item Oh, Pata. What is that? Fist. Impaling thrust. A weapon comprised of a linear double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard wielded by the Oathseeker Knights. The versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in the manner of a straight sword. Oh shit. Yo, these are sick. <laughs> yeah, Wolverine build. What are they? S it's just strength decks. Okay. So I don't... 
Uh, we found, what, was it one scattered tree fragment on the way through this area, I think? Check the FP regen. Uh, yeah, I can see how good it is. It's, I imagine it's similar to... Yeah, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> It add, I, the thing is, it adds up over time. It's just, you can also just use flasks, obviously. Alright, so... I think we explored, like, this whole... region, I, thi I think. And then we explored down here. So let's go... Actually, let's go this way. Oh, I actually don't know what the armor looks like. I just forgot. Oathseeker Knight Helm, black with gold ornamentation. These knights set off on quests of discovery, hoping to find by themselves an oath of their own choosing to serve in perfect lifelong devotion. I've, I've never been one to care that much about trip, guys, to tell you the truth. It's okay. Kind of reminds me of the Karian knight armor. I'm not using the recent tab. Well, if you need, oh. what? I I did not find this. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Was Lion's Claw not good enough? Skill of the particularly brave, even among the red mains, somersaults forward, striking foes with armament, an additional strike may be performed with an additional input. Alright, we might have to try that on the hammer. <laughs> oh! Another larval tier! I swear, it's only at- it's nighttime, right? It's only at night! The larval tiers spawn at night. I wonder if they're like set locations or just random spawns. I'm gonna go down here. What do they do? Well, that's for respecking. Holy crap, wait, there's three items in here? Oh, a visage? A... Wait, is, it, is this the item that... Furnace pot! Oh, that's what you use the furnace visages for! I never find this, I, I didn't find this either! I actually missed so much shit, dude. Craftable item prepared using a capacious cracked pot imbued with a hex of a furnace. Throw out an enemy to create a whirlwind of flame. The furnace's flame burns away both body and soul. When impurity is thus expunged, one calls it cleansing. Ember of Mesmer. Yeah, it's probably not going to do good damage. The fire pot was kind of weak. Okay. 
Well, because I, I found a few of those furnace visages when I was playing before, and I had I just I never found the the cookbook. I see something sh shiny over there. Oh, I think that's just a coffin. How many bosses have I done? I've done two main bosses. So there's a boss in this castle, and I killed it. And then I found another Remembrance boss, but I, I did not fight it. Well, I fought, I, I fought him one time, and I died in like... I died in like... 20 seconds. And then I, I stopped, because I was... It's... It was really, it was a really cool looking boss, and I, I wanted to, to wait. Oh, there's a dungeon here. Hold on, I want to explore around. Well, actually, there's probably a grace inside. Starlight. Oh, Chad, I'm so happy right now. I love this game so much. Alright, I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna look around. It's like he knew. Yeah, it's almost like that's how they all work. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should have put on the Savage Savage Lion's Claw. True. Okay, you know what, chat? Remind me, like, if it's daytime, remind me to change it to night. Because I, I honestly feel like there's a lot of nighttime stuff here, probably, that I missed. Grave bird armor. That's so close to a one shot. Or a two shot. Okay, guys. Where'd I get the hammer? It was down at the church here. Is that a tree? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my god. Bro, 300? <laughs> okay, I was porn acting there. Oh, okay, that's actually better. 757, okay. Maybe... Does he have damage reduction? <laughs> I fought this guy in the, in the preview event. I honestly cannot tell you what he drops, though. I, I cannot remember, because it was like a month ago that I fought this guy. My damage is so fucking ass. This is actually pitiful. Oh my god. Maybe holy is good. Oh jeez. Well
I don't remember. <laughs> Holy shit, 1500. Okay, it is definitely, yep, it's, wait a sec, hold on. Let's see if we can last rights. I didn't actually test this. I, I don't know if they work like death birds, they might. Oh shit. Oh, ho, 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 yes they do. Oh my god, this is going to be such a free kill. In the speedrun route. Oh, Jesus, I might be dead. Hit him. Ruins we gonna get 120,000? Not bad. Sure. Oh, a somber stone. Sick. I, I genuinely cannot remember what this guy dropped. Uh... Chat. I hope. Oh. Great katana. <laughs> I actually missed this as well. Large katana with a long, heavy blade, a weapon unique to the warriors of the lands of reeds. Designed for aggression, this armament requires the wielder to throw their entire body into swinging it. The slashing attacks of its owned edge incite blood loss. So I did get to test this weapon uh, in the preview event. This thing is fucking sick. Look at this shit. So it's a stance weapon. Look how fucking big it is, dude. <laughs> And you got you got Ichibonji. Triple Ichi even. Yeah, Dex Dex players are uh are gonna be happy. Why am I not using Silver Scarab? Uh I mean I could put it on. Was there anything else over here? Oh right, the the dungeon. You tell me. I dude, I don't know. Like yes, I already played it, chat, but there's I I've, I've found a lot of stuff already in this run, probably because I'm being even more thorough than I was last time. There's a lot of stuff that I genuinely did not find. Yeah, I know I have the grace. I'm just looking around. Oh yeah, the... What was it called? Does this do anything? Stone armor with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the grave bird. Grave birds are ancient columns created to guard the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Wait. Painting? Oh, is that the painting spot? Shit, you're right. It is, isn't it? You mean over here? I 
I don't know if it's like near the ledge. All right, hold on. Let me take a look at the. Let me take a look at the painting. Okay, the art. Oh, the archway is in the. Was that it? I didn't see the spirit, but maybe I ran past it and then I didn't realize. What was it? Serpent Crest Shield? It's good against fire. A finely made red shield featuring an engraving of a wing winged serpent excels at guarding against fire, said to have been med made to commemorate the beginnings of the crusade started by Mesmer, son of America. another shield only run I don't know if that shield I mean it could be good for the mesmer fight because I mean he does fire from what we've seen in like the trailers and stuff all right let's go into the dungeon <sighs> chat it's gonna get old I'm not gonna lie like I <laughs> Oh man. So from all the from the the dungeons that I did do, all of them have seemed to be like quite unique, which I'm very happy about. I did do this dungeon. Oh right, the lion claw. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm like I have ADHD brain, it's just... You know what, let's uh, let's use one of these horns. We have a bunch of them. It's actually really nice how many- it seems like you get quite a lot. I don't know if they've been RNG drops, but... the one Ella, Mika, and Hob did? Uh, I don't think so. Frozen maggot. Frozen maggots that somehow continue to wriggle, mainly found in jails. The maggots develop in great jar innards and are an invaluable source of sustenance to the prisoners. Oh god, I think I remember this. Where do you go? Just explore, man. That's what the first playthrough is all about. Follow the crosses, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy to be playing the DLC. Oh. Life is great again. <laughs> oh please, not the jar, anything but that. I promise I won't ever do it again. I swear, a living saint I sh sh I'll surely be. Please, you must forgive me. Forgive me, please. What do you think they're doing here? I can't wait to see the Vati video where it talks about how they stuff people into jars and... The jars were evil all along. <laughs> Inner meat. Wait, what? 
Scraps of flesh for filling gray jars. Rancorous spirits cling to the pinkish red twitching meat. Throw at enemies to inflict damage. This is what becomes of the condemned who get sliced up and stuffed into, jar into jars to become saints instead. Oh, wait, there's a golden horn tender too. Oh shit. Um. Wait, where's the meat? Oh. Strength, int, and arcane scaling. This is where I came in, right? Okay. Alright, let's see how some doofuses died. No way I'm gonna die like these guys. Questionable. Oh, wait, that was the same one. <laughs> I want to go home. Glass shard. Item ahead. I I'm curious, are you guys playing online right now? Oh. another pot let's see can we make any of the other big pots we can make the hefty fire pot and that's it we also have the hefty lightning pot hmm. but I think lightning scales with dex actually do the pots have scaling Okay, so funny enough, when I was playing before, all of the hefty pots had no scaling on them, so they did like literally nothing. <laughs> Is there anything else in here? So many pots. Do you think there's gonna be a... Wait a sec. I thought there was going to be something cool. 
Dog? That's a gigapot. Come on. Let's see, is there anything over here? This area pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, this area confused the shit out of me. This guy's tankier than the other ones. I never said I never saw this area. I did do this dungeon. I, I completely forgot that you fell there though, to be honest. My memory ain't that good, chat. There's, there's more stuff here, but this is, oh, sh this is what I mean though. It's so confusing. I can't, oh, I think this might be it. Yeah, I don't know. Smithing stones being a loot item is... It's kind of weird. Like, I don't... I don't know. But, by the way, chat, I, I did local record the... The session that I played off stream that one day, I did local record it. So, all my, like, genuine reactions of the... I guess, like, the first area are there. Hefty freezing pot. All right, let's make some of these. Make two. Oh, I mean, I'm still having a blast right now. Chat is a little annoying with the Kappa spam, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Let's see, are there any more Are there any more items in here do you think? Yep. 
There it is. Bandai Namco's in the chat. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, look at them. Hello, Bandai. They're so cute. I'll give them a golden vow. You think I can buff them? Probably not. <laughs> I am not going to hurt them, chat. I would never. I will hurt this guy, though. This new Horfrost stomp is really good. Okay. Ah, yes. So I did, f I found this secret chat. In the when I went to the the preview event. Dun dun dun. It is a pot elevator. Guys, you're gonna love this one. This is the let me solo her's new favorite fucking item, probably. <laughs> A great jar which fits comfortably over the head when upturned. Attire of the shamans who perform their worship at jails. Increases the power of throne pots of all sizes. They offer their prayers to the innards of the great jars such that they might be reborn one day into sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth taken in the hands of mortal men. So yeah, I definitely want to try like a consumable only run in the DLC. Try jumping. Nah. <laughs> I'm okay. Can I get back here? Oh. Wait. Guys. I thought we were friends. Also, thank if you're still here, Bandai, thank you so much for the review key as well. Hello, Oran.
This guy is super weird. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that did like nothing. <laughs> it looked cool though. You know, I never got grabbed by this guy before. <laughs> he does frostbite, so I'm not sure if this is very good against him. Oh, not again. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> stop that. I wonder if I could... I bet I could parry him. <laughs> Alright, man. You're crazy. Stop. Stop hitting me. I will summon my wrathful spirit. Oh, you're dead now. Ugh. <laughs> oh, wait, it looks like Bok. I didn't even realize. Demi human swordsman Yosh. Ashen remains in Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of Yash, the demi-human swordsman. Owns a master swordsman who devoted himself to the Starline Sword, realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars, and imprisoned himself in, or in order to forestall it. However, Yash, an apprentice who absorbed his technique, stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent in spent entire his life at his side. I think that's a translation issue. In defiance of his self-imposed seclusion. Okay. I did not actually try this summon. I did kill this guy before, but... Okay. So... I think... Did I go up here? Oh yeah, let me equip Lion's Claw. Good sh good, good call. Let's try it. Savage Lion's Claw. Should I go get the Holy Weapon Art? I feel like I should. I mean, Cold has been, it's been okay. But my Faith isn't really doing anything. I mean, yeah, it's like descaling. Oh, how it hurts from very tip to toe. Ah, help me, I must ask, am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? Oh yeah, maybe we should go night. Let's try the weapon art, yeah. Oh, dude! What the fuck? It's so fast! Oh my god! <laughs> dude, it, 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 it does a double hit on the follow-up. <laughs> that is unfucking real that is so good. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my god. Hidden path ahead. 
crab? Oh, I can see it. Oh man, this DLC is so good. Oh, and this this is like a lot of the a lot of the stuff I'm doing right now is stuff I've seen, and I'm still just like having so much fun. Ailment talisman. Raises resistance to the last ailment suffered. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to the same ailment. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. Alright. Well, I don't know how I feel about that talisman, but... Okay, chat, we're gonna... Do I want to go to the castle here? Where did I find the weapon art? It was just, like, laying somewhere over in this area? Yeah. Yeah, I beat the lion. Yeah, let's go to nighttime. Dude, Savage, Savage Lion Claw. That is like, dude, was Lion Claw not OP enough? Like, seriously. Get the knife. Yeah. Where's the knife? Is it? It's in the Round Table, right? Like the. Can I? Can I get there in Ashen Capital? The whole. Can I still get the Holy Knife? I can't get there in Ashen Capital. Nope. Oh, well. Too bad, I guess. This is a nice little camp. Nice and comfy. Except for the people that want to kill me. Fire Knight's Cookbook. so powerful oh what is this oh man these guys got big spears I wonder if you could get this as a drop dude it feels like I'm swinging a freaking straight sword <laughs> with this thing Oh, this bonfire is pretty. Thank you, Kitsune. Can't believe it's finally here, man. I am going to take my sweet, sweet time making sure I get every go through every little nook and cranny what excuse me sir what did you just hit me with Fragment. Nice.
How do you? How many hits does your bubble absorb? Dude, this weapon art is so good. Ah, the perfume bottle. I don't know if I plan on using this. Definitely for a challenge run, like perfume only run. Definitely want to do that. Because there's different types of perfume bottles too. I think I found two of them. But I'm, I'm guessing there's probably perfume bottles of like every elemental type. Yeah, I can show off the moveset. So you've got R1s. I don't know if two... Oh yeah, so two-handing is also a different moveset. So you have jumping attacks. Just standard R1. Jumping R2. R2. Backstep R1. Backstep... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if backstep R2 is different. No, it's not. Oh my god, the crouch. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, you can also charge attack with it too. And then you do a fucking spin. Yeah, yeah, these things are sick. There is also, you, you can see it right now, this weather effect is so, it obscures so much. It's crazy how, how hard it is to actually see things. We also got a new cookbook, Fire Coil. Can make FP to conjure a tiny snake. Device of fire used by Mesmer's soldiers. Are there any other starlight enjoyers in the chat? <laughs> yeah, it's just the light source. <laughs> go down here. I guess Blessing of Air Tree also heals Torrent. <laughs> Let's see, we got anything over here? Wait a sec, there's... Oh, that's where I was before. Okay. Uh, 
come. I don't know. I don't know which way I want to go. I'm gonna go this way. I think. I fought one Remembrance boss so far, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got the... Or, I got one of the paintings. I'm using my left hand. I'm doing it. And it's so dark with this weather, though. Yeah, I'll post the playthrough on YouTube. For sure. Smithing threes. Yeah, I wonder how many smithings I've actually... ...found of specific types. Oh, it's the little guys again. It's been eight hours of stream time to rest. Oh no, not not even not even close, pal. I do want to get some pizza, though. It's only my second playthrough. Uh, I'm, I, dude, I'm so excited to get to the stuff that I haven't seen before. Like, I, I will say, I've, mo most of the stuff I've, I've done so far, I, I have seen. There, there, it has been a good amount of items and things that I did not find, but... I love imps, don't you, chat? I have cold infusion on. I, a grave glove wart one. <laughs> I'm on new game. Oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah, so they just decided to add Lethal Company Spike Traps. Just from soft things, you know. <laughs> Wait, is there a path there? Oh, he's got the helmet on. <laughs> I wonder if the Moog shack or the shackles still works for revealing illusory walls. Does anybody? Yeah, I actually have no idea.
fuck? Okay, dude. I never saw- it. is that his face? What the fuck is that? Jesus. It's weird because I swear I did this dungeon and these enemies were not here. I do not remember that at all. Can I go up? Oh yeah, let me check the cookbook. Yeah, yeah. Red lightning pots. You need red fulgur bloom. Throw in an enemy to inflict lightning damage that links to surrounding enemies. Dude, I feel like a crazy person. I did this dungeon, but I do not rem- How do I not remember these imps with the cannons for heads? I'm like... I'm so confused. I think, I think we gotta go down. Missed a pathway up? No, I didn't. You're lying. I saw the ladder, I just wanted to check the other direction. Oh. Is that it? Just a bunch of Fulgur Bloom? I guess it takes me back up. Okay, let's see if there was a path we missed. Oh. Oh, right. This is where the enemy was that was shooting us. Wow, a shield and an axe. Huge. Oh. Aww. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, you guys, you guys like this weapon art? It's pretty nuts.
another elevator. This is a really long dungeon. Bunch of glove warts. So I guess this catacomb seems to be mainly good for... I guess this would be good for like a summon only run if you were to try to do it. Oh gosh. Oh my god, so much Fulgur Bloom. DLC has three more hours. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, they, they electro charge. I see. Yeah, what about? Call down lightning to charge body with electricity. While charged, electric shocks will strike the area several times, charging increases potency. Oh yeah, I, I man, I picked this up. And I never tried it. Do you think it works with the lion mask? Uh, I don't think so. Didn't it? Isn't the lion thing boot? Didn't it say it boosts storms? Yeah, the DLC is really big. I am just, I'm so excited to get back to where I was before. I mean, obviously, like, I'm still having a blast just playing through it again and helps me remember stuff. I'm ready for the virgin content. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, dude, no... Oh. No hit for the first boss is genuinely gonna be kinda cursed with the... I feel like the lightning... The random lightning spawns. I don't know, people will figure it out though. People will figure it out.
Another elevator. When I was going through this dungeon the first time, I was like, dude, is this shit ever gonna end? Am I, am I like having deja vu? Hidden path ahead. Oh. Oh yeah, so in the dungeons, they got rid of the levers for, I, I don't know if they got rid of them completely, but yeah, there's just like, you can just go to the boss, which is kind of cool. Oh. Alright. Taste my lion's claw. We might die here. Yeah. <laughs> Have I already beaten the DLC? No, not even close. Does some serious damage. We have all of our buffs and stuff now, so this should be better. You know, I bet I can maybe parry this guy. Dude, the lion's claw is so good though. Jesus! Stop! Oh, you can backstab! I didn't even mean to do that. Crimson Amber plus three and the Death Knight's Twin Axes. These things are fucking sick. So look at this. From a low stance, the body is transformed into a bolt of lightning and charges straight ahead at fulgurous speed. Strong attacks perform a lightning charge spinning slash. So yeah, you can um, read the lore. Okay. Golden War Axes of the Death Knight, a pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands, crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. So yeah, this thing is crazy, because you, you can basically, if in like PvP, or in PvE too, uh, you can just dash away and then just like whirlwind back in. It's it's crazy.
I mean, we could try, we could use them. Um, all right, well, we're done with this catacombs. I'm gonna get him to plus 10. Why not? All right. Did I get... Oh, yeah, I can try... Oh, right! The lightning spell! We can use it with this, right? Electro charge. Uh -huh. Okay. I really got to use the restroom chat. We're going to go back to the castle front, and I think I'm going to explore to the south here before we go into the castle. Um, yeah, I will be right back. Okay. I'm back. Let us continue exploring. Okay, we did come up here. How long does it last for? <laughs> That's pretty sick, actually. It lasts for a long time. God, the damage is really good, actually. It's pretty solid.
Oh my. Oh, it staggered him. Uh, yeah, these are plus 10. <laughs> uh, this is just the start of the game, Chad. Like, I mean, granted, I haven't seen that many weapons, but there's probably, like, I, I don't even... There's probably some insane, insane stuff. I mean, honestly, this weapon's pretty insane as it is, but... Aha! The lava intake. This is a cool dungeon. I did do this dungeon as well. Okay, again, I basically did everything in this, like, starter zone. Um, and then there was, like, one kind of over... Uh, one other area that I explored a decent bit, but I didn't really find, like, anything there. bad here. Yeah, I don't know how many bosses I fought total. Maybe like seven or eight, if we include dungeon bosses, I would say. I haven't been acting. I mean, there's still plenty of stuff I haven't seen. Like, even though I've played it, guys, I can still be excited about it, okay? <laughs> So yeah, this dungeon seems really good for finding smithing stones, from what I've seen. I found a bunch, but look at that, like, smithing stone one. It's, it's so weird. God, uh, oh, I love this game so much. Oh my. So you gotta hit them in their crystal, these enemies. It's kinda weird. And I'm not doing any posture damage though. Two smithing stone sixes, a four and a three. Yo, what's up, McCabe? Yeah, you know, I bet the hammer would for the for this for these enemies, I should probably put the hammer back on. Because it it is strike. Oh, three smithing sevens. Two smithing ones. Somber six. <laughs> Dude, is this weapon broken? Like, actually, though, is, is it. Do you think the poise values on this are, like, messed up? It's crazy. Smithing five and two sixes, three and a four. Uh, it's plus 24. Whoa. Two smithing twos, another smithing four. Yeah, I mean, there's so many stones in here. It's quite nice. Oh, another one. A one? I, I think it's a guaranteed drop from the enemy at the start of the DLC, this hammer.
Ah, the Smith Script Dagger. So this one's pretty cool, guys. Probably pretty good for PvP as well. Um, yeah, check this thing out. Yo, what's up, Blue? Yeah, it's so good. Dagger engraved with a Smith Script. Reduced mass enhances the effects of the smithing arts, allowing this weapon to function as a throwing dagger for all attacks. Once thrown, the dagger instantly reappears in the wielder's hand. So, R1 is a throw. R2 is a throw. You can do a jump, jump throw. You can do like a charge throw, which goes a lot further, I think. I don't know how far exactly, but... I did not complete the DLC, no. I have seen a good amount of stuff from like the starting zone, but this DLC is massive. It's really big. Uh, where am I supposed to go now, though? Oh, there's an item up there. Yeah, we got the Smith Script Dagger in, uh, in the Bandai preview event that I went to. There's a ton of smithing stones here. I, I almost wish I, I like wrote them, wrote it down, or I, I'm curious how many there are total here. You know. Yeah, the whole size of Limgrave is a bunch of baloney. Yeah, there is a ladder down here. I think it's if you fall into the lava, I guess. I don't know if there's anything down in the lava here. I don't think that there is. Alright, going up! <laughs> Examine the altar. Ancient dragon smithing stone and the anvil hammer. This hammer is pretty dank. Yeah, check this out. The weapon art that summons these spikes. But the thing is, the spikes, they linger. So they can actually hit an enemy twice. Yeah, the spikes last for like two or three seconds. But what's weird about this dungeon is I never found a boss, so I don't know if there is a boss. You can teleport out. Uh, like, I, I'm able to teleport now, so I, I think that there are some places that just don't have a boss. I think it's just... I don't know. Maybe in the lava, but I'm I I don't know. It could be hidden. It could, it could be hidden. I don't I don't know if I'm going to bother with trying to look around for it right now. I, I the thing is, you can you can teleport out of the dungeon, right? And I think I think it, I unlocked the ability to teleport out once I activated that al the altar. So I 
I just, I don't think there's actually a boss there. So I can show you guys this attack. It's not going to do like anything right now, but... So you can see how it... It procs. It's a pretty good weapon. I used it a decent amount, but I, I, I'm kind of enjoying the black, the great hammer right now. It's at plus zero right now. <laughs> Yeah, Savage Lion Claw is pretty cracked. Uh, I put cold on it. Is it better Lion's Claw? Ba I mean, basically, I think. I don't know if the first hit. Oh, yeah. So I have seen this item before, but it's a fucking weird one. I never actually tried it. Look at this shit. Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of bone shards. Coats armament, imparting a festive incantation that grants the wielder ruins on landing attacks. This effect lasts only for a short time. The delightful festival is an old tradition, one old enough for the air tree to tacitly tolerate its endurance. Like, <laughs> ruin game grease? What? What are they? What? Are they th <laughs> what? Hold on, let's actually test it. I never tested it before. Wow, 25 runes. Thank you, FromSoft. This guy, like... <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Looks like Ash Lake down there, or like it reminds me of Ash Lake. Seeing all those root, uh, the roots. Ah, another cookbook. Hefty poison pot. It's the sealed spirit spring chat. Find the rocks. <laughs> Honestly, like you don't even need the note for it. We unleashed it. Talisman of the Dread. Raises potency of magma. Talisman depicting the dread dragon of the jagged peak whose roars cause the peak's molten fury to boil and churn. Raises potency of magma. Bale was the foul dragon's name, a terrible harbinger of destruction whose challenge to the ancient dragon lord ended in a grievous mutual injury. Oh shit.
Alright, let's take the spears. Wait, there was a guy there? He took the Plassies' heads. <laughs> oh, Bale, Tyrant Drake, do your wounds yet ache? Is your fury still yet to crest its zenith? Hurry, hurry, and lay it all to waste. Lay waste to the proud, the conceited each, every last one of that arrogant lot. The mountain looks so sick. Also, these spirit springs are, <laughs> they send you so high up. It looks, it's like, doesn't, it feels weird. It goes so high. We go. Whee. The Fort of Reprimand. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I do need to like order food before it gets too late and uh, a bunch of place closes. A bunch of places close. So I'm gonna go ask Larksa if she wants uh if she wants anything. I will be right back. I'm also gonna grab a drink, I think. Yeah, I might order some pizza. Sounds kind of good. Yo, what's up, Sequisha? Alright, I'll be right back, chat. I'm back. Uh, you should be able to invade right away, Sequisha. The only thing is, you might need... Yeah, you should be able to find people. But you're only going to be able to invade people that are either using the Taunter's Tongue, or people that are playing co-op. Holy... Blessed Bone Shard. Shard of bone with a golden shine, exceedingly rare to find. A bone fragment touched by the gold of the Skadu tree, broken from the remains of the warriors who perished in the realm of shadow. A blessing such as this is said to be the greatest honor that could be granted to the dead. No, I'm not getting deep dish. It's too hard to eat. Four smithing stone eights? Yo, that's a lot. And I'm pretty sure you could get to this area without killing anything. Do gem. Oh, what? Oh. Wow, 
Lion's Claw. Nice. Dude. Jesus. Stop. Right. I, so I, I killed this guy before as well, but I never tried the Ash of War. It looks like it scales with um, Holy, so that might actually be good, fun to use. I don't know what I could put it on, though. How many have you killed? I mean, when I, when I get more of the map shown I can kind of explain to you guys what I did and what I didn't do. There's a lot that I, I didn't do. Battlefield Priest Cookbook. Oh, great. We can make festive grease, guys. We're in business. That's what we use the blessed bone shard for. Festive grease is for chads. <laughs> Zips are fixed. Also, wow, a lot of people died here. Oh, look at him, double giant crusher. <laughs> Uchi. I'm not admitting to playing more and more. I said I killed, th I, I killed two main bosses, two remembrance bosses, and I found what I think is another remembrance boss, but I only fought him once. And then I, I decided to wait until today, so. No oh, more bone shards. shards. We have fought one of the Remembrance bosses. We fought the lion. I actually died a few times, though. Let's use some starlight. It's getting dark. I found, I mean, what, I found like three or four armor sets so far? It's not too bad. I think. More festive grease. Flame Drake plus three. I bet that'll be good for Mesmer. 
How much of a boost is it? 14% fire DR. It's pretty good. Not too shabby. Oh my god. Mesmer's fire. I mean, there's a grease named after him, which is a fire grease. So, I think he does fire attacks. Just. Dude, seven smithing stone fives here? Wait, that's actually. That's a lot. That's so many. Okay, going to this location will probably be really useful. Eight smithing stone sixes? Dude, you could go in with a plus 12 weapon and just up upgrade to like plus 18 here, almost. Okay, chat, we need to remember this. This is very important, actually. This is a really good spot for upgrades if you're rushing DLC. First off, right. Oh. Okay, so... Okay, I think we exp we went up there on that tower. We went up there. That's where the Smithing Stone 8s were. Oh, I see a cross all the way up. It's like all... Oh, it's all the way to the right. Um... Oh! More bone shards. How do you get to the DLC area? You gotta go into uh, Moog. Gotta go to Moog. Oh. Shadow Realm Ruin 4. 15,000? Did I just hear that Phantom use RKR? Is that? Okay, I got this item before and I have no idea what it does. An iris that is as dark as night, place on the eye of another to deny them light in all its forms, can be used to re receive the blessing of an equipped great rune at the cost of all runes currently held. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the air tree to intensify the fears of their flock to magnificent effect. Well, I mean, I read it, but it also said. Wait. Wait, what? What the fuck is that? I... What? 80,000? Golden remnants of the grace personally bestowed by Queen Merica to the heroes who joined the crusade for a use game 80,000 runes. The brilliance of Queen Merica's grace blinds even the very best. I... I came... I... Okay, I'm confused. I, that... I think that they added that item in... the new patch. That was not there before. Mesmer Soldier. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirits of two of Mesmer's soldiers. One soldier wields an axe while the other wields a spear. Both of them are adept at charge attacks. These soldiers belong to the ignoble pen penal battalion and were buried hidden from the Skadu Tree site. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's 
grab this grace. Um, so yeah, if you take a look at the map, there, well, there's no map fragment here, but basically, so this castle has, I went past this castle here, and I have not seen any part of the north part of the map. I went to this area to the south, and I explored it, um, but in terms of the north, I have literally seen nothing. I am going to go back this way, though, and I want to explore over here. Wait, is there a map close by to me? Up there? Uh, no, I don't want to run. I'm just going to do the- I'll do the castle first. I guess. Oh wait, we there's another pathway that we actually missed here as well, because it goes down, which is where we went, but it also goes up here. Forty dollars, this doesn't seem like great value. I, I didn't beat it already, man. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? So there is a path down this way, but I think it leads to the poison area we were at before, which led to the Fort of Reprimand. Let's go over to the cross. these blood virgins, exceedingly rare to find, said to burgeon forth from where the golden blood of Mikola, the wounded Empyrean, pooled. I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. Ah, that's why the flowers were spawning, I guess. Hello there. Are you the tarnished? The map looks kind of small. Oh, don't worry, it gets bigger. I'm the tarnished. Guided here by Mikola the kind. My name is Teolia. I, too, am tarnished. And here on kindly Mikola's account. So... Well, uh, here's to new beginnings, I suppose. Um, I'm sorry, but well, I'm not much good at anything is all. I'm as weak as a kitten and thick as two planks. I've always been this way since the very day I was born. I'm afraid the only thing I'm proficient in is, is poison. Sorry. So yeah, this guy's got all sorts of poison and shit. I'm just gonna buy all of his stuff. He has a poison perfume bottle, though. Pretty sick. Attacks release perfumed powder, producing deadly poison, customized by Theolier. There are some techniques of the perfuming arts that employ poison. Upon learning of this, Theolier threw himself into mastering those techniques, and he made them his own. That's pretty cool. Just give me the word if you need any more poison. Thank you. So, uh... I'm not sure if it's a different type of poison, actually. That's a good question. Re 
rest and talk again? Uh, yeah, I could do that. That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> Maybe he's got extra dialogue. Yeah, you can upgrade the bottles. I definitely want to do a challenge run with just the perfume so bottles. Bad. What can I... Yeah, I don't think he has anything else to say. It's the scaling on the bottle. It is arcane. And dex. Alright, hold on. I want to go up on the up path. Honestly, I don't think that FromSoft is going to do any more NPC nonsense where you have to buy out their entire stock, but you never know, I guess. That is a thing for what, uh, in Dark Souls 1 with Griggs, or, uh, uh, why am I drawing the blank on his name? Whatever his name is, Logan, yeah. Big hat Logan. Yes. Bro, you okay? Uh, the pain. The pain. My arms. My legs. Each lies a bloody ruin. I love this voice actor. Upon your heart. He's so fucking good. Mark my words. You too shall know fear. <laughs> I love it. Let us go up. <clears throat> oh, we got another piece of the Great Bird armor. Nice. That's where I was, or no. No, I haven't, okay, wait, I haven't been. Okay, so I can go to the side where Egon is and go this way. I don't know. Getting invaded. I killed the lion, yeah. Oh, it does damage when it procs. A 
you got for me? Anything? No? I like the electro charge, but the constant procking, I feel like, might get a little annoying. I want to see if there's anything over here. Is it nighttime? It is. There's a bunch of gravestones here, which makes me think there might be a larval tier somewhere. Hold on, let's climb up this... I, th I think I can go up this, this little side here. So it looks like this just goes down to where I was before, I think. got a cave. I remember this cave. This is a cool cave. You can jump up here from below. Hmm. Last rights is so good. Mm, there's another pathway back there, so I'm not sure. Hold on, I want to see what's back. How am I doing so much damage? So this last rights spell or ash of war gives double damage against undead no, and you don't you don't need to have the weapon equipped you just use the buff lasts for 60 seconds and it also kills undead instantly oh six smithing stone ones <laughs> what in the world man the smithing stones in this dlc do kind of confuse me but i guess they just want you if somebody I guess they kind of put them in as a failsafe, so like if somebody want came in without the bells, at least they'd be able to try some new stuff, I suppose. comprised of a sharp blade affixed to a long grip. It is in fact a sickle repurposed to be a tool of war. Seems pretty big. Yo, it's the Black Knight Halberd.
Hey, Crane Team, thank you for the seven months. It is finally here. And it is amazing. Uh, last Rites gives 10% damage against, uh, just normally. Oh, God. Oh, okay. on these is not very good though. AoE lightning really does not do very much damage. Ooh, an ancient smithing stone. Nice. Brave, show no fear. Okay. Oh, we're going down. Ancient Dragon Man. <laughs> oh my God, ouch. A lot of damage. <laughs> All right, man. Just let me golden bow.
All right, I'm getting fucked on. Oh wait, let me grab my runes. I think spamming the weapon art is probably a pretty good strat. Got a juice, my man. Oh. Did he just do a charge attack? Dude, the, we the weapon art spam is so good. Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. Great Katana with spines of gravel stone along its blade, wielded by the ancient Dragon Man of the Dragon's Pit, has an anti-dragon effect. I guess that means it... As far as I know, anti-dragon is like 20% extra damage. Formerly a dragon communion warrior, the ancient dragon man was once arbiter of those worthy to devour the dreaded one. <clears throat> dragon Wound Slash. Designed to hunt colossal dragons, the skill cloaks the armament with a jagged gravel stone aura before performing a high leaping slash. Cool. Honestly, if if we come across some dragons, maybe what what does that thing scale with? Is it just strength and dex? Hmm. Could be a good good weapon for killing dragons. Oh yeah, I could power stance the great katanas because I have two. Pretty cool. Am I liking the DLC? It is fantastic. The foot of the jagged peak. There's a message up here or something. <clears throat> Bale, O Terror Incarnate, again I stand for ye. Oh, 
almost 600k people playing by the way god damn oh man this dlc is so beautiful I'm gonna use the hammer, I think, this guy. Oh, damn it! At least I had him in the wing. Dude, this stun is... I'm over here. What the hell are you doing? Brother, what the hell is happening? gonna get an ancient stone oh oh yeah this item so this is super interesting a lump of hot flesh carved from beneath the inverted scales said to grow on aged dragons when ingested as is boosts vigor stam strength and dex at the cost of gradual hp loss to the drake warriors there's no more intoxicating liquor than the heat of dragons i played everything i did not play everything no This DLC is very big, guys. Yeah, I so I I did explore this area. I I don't want to say more because I don't want to like spoil what's here. We can see the map. It's not that big. I, the map gets bigger, my man. Also, this DLC has insane verticality to it. Like, it's disgusting. The amount of verticality.
red folder. Guys. There was an NPC? No way. Talking about the the the, the goats? The rams? One hitting skellies, yeah, it's because I have last rights on. The Giga Dragon! Dude, when I saw. Oh, God, it's so fucking cool, man. Look at this fucking guy. The Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Well, I did record it, Cut McGruff. Feasting upon a dragon's essence, on the throbbing heart of the oldest, vilest dragon of them all. It would be the purest form of communion, the fullest sating of your hunger and your consummation as a dragon whole. I'll yes, do it. As it should be. Now, seek the dragon peak. There you will find Bale, the oldest and vilest of all dragons, Landbound warrior. Follow your desire and slay the foul beast, devour its throbbing heart. I will grant you the strength required in the name of my lord, Placidusak. Ancient Dragon's Blessing. I So I never tested this, but I assume it's insanely good. I don't know if you only get one. Consume FP to increase all forms of damage negation. It also increases damage negation while guarding. Each night, the priestess offers her own sleep to her lord and in turn receives the power of his favor. And we have an altar. Communion with Bale. Look at this shit, dude. 49 arcane, 53 arcane. I, I didn't get these spells. I, I have no idea what they look like, what they are, but oh my god, they look so fucking cool. One of the greatest dragon communion incantations harnesses the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heatwave burst causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Kind of sounds like Firestorm, actually. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer. One day. Oh. Bale's flame lightning channels the form of the dread dragon and right arm to smash foes with an exposed talon bone coursing with flame lightning. <laughs> Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation. Okay, yeah, that's whatever. Yo, Chunky, thank you for the sub. And Shiny Potato, thank you for the sub. BT Toast, thank you for the two months. Alright. I am going to... I'm gonna go back here. Was there another pathway I missed?
sharp gravel stone. A particularly sharp piece of gravel stone found at the jagged peak on the south coast, the scale of an ancient dragon that is supped on the blood of lesser dragons. I don't know, I might try the dragon slaying katana. Hey, Swamp Nuts, thank you for the two months. Yo, what's up, Loro? It's all good, man. Am I going to be chained together? Not anytime soon. I've heard the game is fun, but... Ah, another cookbook. Hefty Red Lightning Pot. Hefty furnace pot. Oh, not bad, actually. Yeah, I mean, I... I could just go straight to the stuff that I haven't done, but I, I, the last thing I want is to like, end up doing, like finishing the DLC by doing the stuff I already did. <laughs> you know, so I have been in this area. This area was the area, like, I love, it's just so cool, man, with the lightning. did at least 70%. No, I did not. So I saw the boss here, and this this is the boss that I left. I fought him once, and to be honest, he seems insane. Collar Bloom. Flower with an uncanny shape coursing with hot blood, exceedingly rare to find. A single flower is said to blossom only once from the hearts of dead warriors who oft partook of the dragon canoe. So yeah, these two dragons are actually fighting each other right now. I'm gonna put on the fire defense talisman. Time to fight. Hopefully we can get a stun fairly easy though. Ah, 
have a berry torrent. Wait, where are you going? It's our friend. Piteous Egon. Do you not remember? Conjure your past. How once you were. When fear was yet foreign to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drink warrior. Dear friend, grant me this one wish. Take this finger, my finger. Scale the jagged peak. Face bail the dread. And when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. My limbs are limbs no more. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But a Drake warrior, I remain. And my soul yet lies on the mountain. Am I blind? Facing Bale the Dread, the summons Drake Warrior Egon from his sign. Proud Drake will scale summon me. Alright. Wanna look over here real quick? Can't remember if there was anything. Did I order food? Well, Larksa was supposed to order food. I don't know if she did. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Time to begin our ascent. So 
So this is the boss that I got to and d decided not to fight because I wanted to save it for the stream. Haha, <laughs> can't get me. How much damage do you think this does? <laughs> oh, another fragment. <laughs> Sorry, Torrin. Have some raisins. Oh my god, he's really hurt. I'm not fucking with this dude. Oh, this is Senesax chat. Look at my fucking damage, bro. Well, the Dragon Katana isn't upgraded. Here we are. My god, dude, isn't this just so fucking sick? Like, holy shit. It's such a cool lead up to the boss, man. Let's go, let's, uh, did I grab it? Let's go upgrade the katana real quick. We could go see how all right let's let's go back down and see how this does against this guy i guess do i have a lightning defense talisman and plus one i should maybe respec i don't have that much strength in decks Definitely better. Right? Oh god. You know what? Lion Head's actually a good call. I 
I want to try to fight him on foot, but I feel like it's a lot easier on horseback. I don't know. Katana is pretty good though. I don't know. I should probably fight him on foot, honestly. Got him, right? <laughs> oh my god, that did so much damage. Well, a double, double plus ten. I didn't actually kill this guy uh, previously, because he, he seemed very strong. Which he honestly, he is pretty strong. Okay, well... That was nice. Oh, there's a bunch of slugs here now. Hey, Chinny, thank you for the 50 months. Here we 
go, guys. How did these guys die? <laughs> oh, so people put messages on the side there. What the heck? Ah, yes, there's definitely something down there. Oh, can you go this way instead of taking... Oh yeah, I think you can go this way instead of taking the Spirit Spring. Though the Spirit Spring's probably faster. Can I actually get back up here though? Frickin' dragons. So cool, man. Oh, what is this? I cannot remember. Oh, another ancient smithing.
Alright guys, so this is the boss. So I fought... Wait, what? I can't even open the map. That's weird. Yeah, let me level up. Um, I don't know where the summon is for him. I don't see it. Yeah, but I... Uh, I didn't actually think it was usable. I didn't see it in the inventory as a usable item. It's in my key items. It even says in the description... The summons Drake Warrior Egon from his sign. Yeah, so this boss is kind of cracked. Honestly, this feels kind of like a situation where I should probably go back, or I should explore more and get more of the fragments. I can't, I can't, I can't even fucking summon him, man! Oh, he does good damage. Behold, the true great warrior, and I, Egon. Your fear may flash. God, the music is so sick. <laughs> I will riddle with holes your rotten hide. With the hail of harpoons! With every last drop of my being! Ooh. 
That was a nice jump. Oh god, what the f Oh god, he's doing something! Oh shit! Oh my god, that's so cool. Woo! That's so fucking cool! Get a Megon. <laughs> God, that was so sick, man. God, that, that was so beautiful. This is why I didn't want to fight this guy, because I knew... Oh, he's dead. Did I just... I don't even... How, how did I not get hit? Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this boss is so cool, dude. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit, man. That is crazy. Hold on. My pizza is here, so I'm gonna eat a little bit. Give me one minute, chat. Oh, I'm so glad that I didn't fight that boss. I, I'm so glad I got to see that. Like, oh, that was so cool. That was actually so... God, that was so sick, man. Holy shit. Hold on. Get rid of this guy. <clears throat> the instant you summon, yeah, he's talking, like, the moment you summon, he starts yapping. I like Egon, though. He's, he's a cool character. The voice actor went fucking in. God, man, this boss is so fucking cool. And I, like, I just, I can't wait to see what other, this, this is just, like, a side area. I don't even think you need to do this boss. Maybe I should put on Bloodhound Step when he goes ape shit.
man. FromSoft really knows how to make a fucking cinematic fight, though. Like, when he buffs up and the whole mountain goes on fire and his wings, like, light up. That's so cool. I could respec for this fight. I mean, I do have nine Marvel tiers. I could just get more strength and dex, but. Dodge that shit. Where's Egon? Need your help. heels left. Oh, here we go. Got the music too. Ah. Oh.
dude. He hasn't done the crazy attack. to survive! I feel like... Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe I should have retried. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, man. I'm nah. Now we're not gonna know what he has. What's that? Alright, well, we got a Heart of Bale. The thing is, we only have one, so I guess... The Biat... The atrial heart of Bale the Dread, dotted with horn-like gravel stones and glistening with deep red liquor. Gorge upon this at the grand altar of Dragon Communion to absorb Bale's power. The purest form of communion in the words of its priestess. So, you know, I thought it was kind of weird though, chat. That it, so... Did he just not do that crazy attack that killed me? The previous... The previous one? I feel like he didn't do it. I guess it's rare, I don't know. I wanted to see that attack again. But don't worry, we'll be we'll be fighting this guy plenty more and in much difficult circumstances as well. <laughs> All right. So I, this guy isn't even a remembrance boss. <laughs> Flower stone gavel, flower dragon bolt. Yeah, we we definitely fucked up this quest line. I I really should have I should have reset when Igor died. I was just he was so close to dead man, but I I should have. But whatever, we can always do it. Do it on the next run. Weapon of the dragon communion priestess, a dragon stone hammer resembling an ancient flower. The four petals in the flower's core are all sharp, ending in points, and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons. This kind of reminds me of the anchor. It's a hammer with pierce. It calls down the red lightning of the ancient dragons to strike a target, it deals lightning damage, and temporarily reduces the target's lightning damage negation. Oh. You can also charge it. 
Stone heart of a dragon communion priestess. Used while disrobed, it turns one's human flesh into an ancient dragon. This change cannot be undone except by death. Using this heart will already transform, temporarily boost incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. <clears throat> disrobed. Why can't I use it? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there's also ghost flame breath. That's just dragon hearts. Okay, so the question is, which one do we get, guys? The tyranny or the flame lightning? I don't know, two seems kind of cool. This one has higher arcane requirement. Okay, we are going to go back to Renala and respec. I want to try this out. Go to where you found Egon. I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I might have screwed up Egon's thing, but I can go run back and see if he's there. I do kind of regret doing that, but... Oh, well. <clears throat> Alright, so, question is, I did, I did find a weapon that scales with arcane, didn't I? I can't remember what it was, but I swear there was something. Oh, well, the flower stone gavel does. I guess we could use that. Yeah. Perfect. The arm. Oh, yeah, this one as well. Yeah. Yeah, we could try them both, I guess. They would both work for these. Ah, oh, is it thy way? No. Even use starlight. I guess if I use a, a rune arc, I can. Oh wait, no, I have nine. In there. I still can.
on all the runes. <laughs> I'm gonna get the one level for the starlight. Huge. Alright. Oh wait, actually I'm gonna need more uh, I kinda, that kind of made a mistake because I'm gonna need runes to upgrade. Uh, do I have... That should still be enough. thing. Alright, well we can use the flower stone gavel. Uh, oh shit. I also need to upgrade. Oh, I have it upgraded. Nice. Okay, huge. Alright, back to the DLC we go. Um, Alright, I think I'm gonna go to the castle. I want to get this map fragment. Although there's one, oh yeah, you got, okay, yeah, I'll check, I'll check you again, I'll check you again. I mean, all he wanted me to do was summon him there, right? So may maybe that's all you need to do. Maybe it's not. All right, let's check it out, guys. Oh my god. That is, uh... That is pretty sick. I think I was able to charge it, so... Oh wait, do you think the Talisman of the Dead works for it too? Oh, it says magma. So ma no, I don't, I don't know. Because this says it does like fire lightning. What's the damage like? 278 plus 380? That seems pretty good. It's plus 9. Oh no, he's dead. Bell bearing, yeah, I think we fucked up. Well, we know what we can do next time. Egon's harpoon. Let's go see what he what what that is, I guess. So we got his armor. And his bow. Egon's Drake Hunt. Ready the bow before unleashing a twisted shot with a great bellow that considerably enhances its power. A great bow fashioned from two dragon bones bound with coarse rope, covered in gnat gashes left by claws, imbued with Egon's obsession enhancing the power of Egon's harpoon. Oh. Okay. I guess the harpoon is just... Oh, here it is. Anti-dragon harpoon. Interesting. Okay. Oh yeah. It is very slow. But it hurts. It's 
the wine cellar. Oh, spell Drake plus three. I mean, honestly, an, it, it's an incantation, right? So the faithful blocks canvas would probably work as well as the other one. I don't have the I don't have the better version of the faith tally though. Okay, so we went down. Yeah, we went that way. dangerous dragon form would boost by yeah I don't know how to use that item that I got I don't know hey that wasn't bad damage I was gonna say, like, when is this dude gonna kind of get staggered? <clears throat> oh, somber nine. And then a somber three right next to it. Hey, Drakenus, thank you for the sub, man. And then a, okay, so there's a somber one and a three and a nine right next to each other. I know we found a somber four and a six. I don't know if we found a five or a seven yet. How's the DLC so far? It is amazing, man. The one of the bosses I just fought was so fucking cool. He he did this in attack that just absolutely demolished me. Oh, the milady is here. And uh sadly, the second time I fought him, he didn't he didn't do the crazy attack. That's a lot of damage on that. And if I put on Shard of Alexander, that's actually this this Thunderbolt. And I wonder if I wonder if there's something I could put on to boost it even. This Thunderbolt could actually hit really, really hard with all the buffs. Like 3,000 on that? Look at that. <clears throat> if Ritual Sword and like Lightnings, uh, Scorpion. Charm too. Knight's Cookbook, Royal Magic Grease. 
Yeah, so there's basically better versions of like all the different types of grease. So we have magic and there's mesmer fire grease as well. Hey, Toity. Thank you for the two month reset. <clears throat> Message left by Leda. Kind Mikolas seeks the tower sealed by Shadow and the Gate of Divinity found there. If we are to reach him, we must burn the tree that seals the path, and for that we, we require a flame. So do I have enough fragments now? I can't grease this weapon. Will I be speedrunning after first playthrough? Uh, no. I will probably do, like, another playthrough with different different build and stuff like that. Hey Ryozaki, thank you for the 15 months. I can't believe I've been playing the DLC for so long, dude. Oh, it's so good. Okay, the th I don't know how to try the dragon transformation. I'll fucking unequip everything, which I'm gonna have to end up equipping it anyways, but... I swear, it, like, doesn't... Okay, now it works. So what, I can't... Now can I... It's so annoying, man! Why do I gotta unequip everything? If I can just re-equip it anyways. Well, I, at least the talismans are right. Oh yeah, I can show you guys the Milady. So this is a stance weapon, I think, or wait, no. Wait. Oh, wait, this is actually so weird. It's funny because in the preview event that we got, they had a different Ash of War on this weapon. A light greatsword that is a sword whose blade matches the length of a greatsword while being constrained to a minimal weight. Nicknamed after ladies of noble status for its refined appearance. With cultivated form, one can wield this weapon as swiftly as one might a straight sword. The moveset is very interesting. And I have, like, no defense at all. I'm gonna be made of paper. And we got dogs here. Friends. I would never kill them. Okay, sorry, I was just curious if I had like enhanced fist damage. I'm so sorry. Let me heal you. Oh, I don't have heals. Here. Here, I'll make it better. There you go. Be warm. Oh, 
<laughs> oh man. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, the Actually, never mind. Never mind. I'm surprised I got that backstab. Yo, this weapon's actually pretty good. It hits really hard. Pleasantly surprised with it. We do have six of the scatter tree fragment buffs now. Or five, maybe. Alright, let me equip, um, yeah, yeah. If I use the heart again, it buffs me. Let me equip some other... I got Ghost Flame Breath. I got Dragon Maw. Where is that item? Here we go. So yeah, that gives me an attack up buff. Um... Crap, look at that spread. It's so wide. I didn't pick up the drop. Hmm? Yeah, I can two can play that game. Where'd the other guy go? The mana requirement on this is quite low. It, it actually hits so hard. I wonder if, um, isn't there like Vikes? Isn't there some kind of buff that gives you increased like lightning damage or something? my fucking nerves. Ah, oh, you Come back. Dude.
It's Moon Rathil. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ghost brain. Bruh. Very slow. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. <laughs> he didn't seem to to want to dodge it, so I don't mind. Oh, America, I beg, embrace your child and give us a sign. How long must this holy war stretch on? Renala's cameo. Enhances attacks executed after maintaining the same stance for a while. Talisman featuring a gallant portrait of Relana, the twin moon knight. Enhances attacks executed, yeah, yeah. Graved as a reminder of the unparalleled devotion of those who left their homelands to serve Relana. By your leave, we will accompany you wherever your lunar vessel takes you. Oh my. Nice little fire. Ah, fire. I, you know what? I like that message. He sat down. Facing the wrong way. No, I'm warming up my back. Yo, this this Ash of War is so good for picking people off from range. Yeah, I'll probably stream like three to four more hours. <clears throat> Whenever I'm like feeling pretty dang tired, I'll stop. So whenever that is, I guess. I have dragon form on right now. Some Smith and Fours. Watch this chat.
beautiful. Oh, a somber six. So many smithing stones, holy crap. Try that with the super pot helmet, yeah. Sword key. So this is weird. I found this before, but break the seal on the imp statues guarding the sending gates enshrined in each belfry, but remains embedded in the statue after use. So there are belfries in the DLC somewhere. They quell before using one. I don't know if that guy drops anything. I think he's just a normal knight. I can go back down and kill him, I guess, just to be sure, but... <clears throat> yeah, it's just one of the hammer guys. We killed, we killed this guy. All right, let's go um let's go upgrade that other arcane weapon that we had. This one is cool though. I actually like the flower stone gavels. Seems pretty dang strong. So we also have the blood fiend's arm. We can maybe upgrade this one to plus 25. We have a lot of dude, are we even have enough? Bruh. We have eight. Yeah, let's upgrade it. Uh, was it the chamber? Oh wait, does it have endure on it? Oh yeah, let's put something different on. So this weapon has a unique effect when you do a R2 with it, though. I mean, we could put on just the Savage Lion's Claw. We could do Divine Beast on. Two hundred... Two hundred seventeen? Excuse me? much with a cult plus 500 damage Jesus Two seventeen bleed is better. Yeah, I'll try the bleed. Oh. 
Maybe we'll find an arcane crystal tier somewhere. That would be sick. Uh, what do I want to use? Because this thing just does... in one thing. Can you seppuku? Okay, wait, hold on. I have seppuku, but I don't think it would work on this. <clears throat> ah, it's la it's later. <clears throat> Dude, two hit bleed proc. Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy fuck, bro. This weapon is insane! Do I roll even further in dragon form? I feel like I'm rolling a mile. Dude, this weapon is fucking crazy. 200 bleed buildup? Alright, I don't know if I want to use the that form again, to be honest. I might put on, let's see, the arcane, this, oh no, it still makes me, it actually makes me lose damage, surprisingly. It's the arcane scaling isn't that good. So the arcane actually increases the bleed buildup. It scales with our, I guess that's all, I, I don't, is that always how it works? But that, dude, two, that's so crazy. Ah, yes, beautiful.
Uh, I failed. Chugging away. I may have known how to dodge that. I may have known how to dodge that attack already. <laughs> it's such a cool attack, though. That shit. Oh. oh. Man, if you just hit the parries, though, that's she's just done for. I didn't play much of the DLC. Well, so this is the last Remembrance boss that I've I've fought. Um, I haven't seen any other Remembrance bosses after this, after this one. How did I get this weapon again? I can't remember exactly. Also, I should probably put on different talismans. Was it from a mob drop? God. This weapon is fucking busted! Oh my god. Wow. Wow. So this thing, if I, I think if I had 80 arcane, it would be doing 237 blood loss buildup. Okay, I don't know if we should use this weapon, guys. <laughs> it's so good. All right. I mean, to be fair, if you can't bleed a boss, then it's not going to be nearly as good. But that is that is wild how much buildup you can get. Oh, Rolana's armor. Let's buy that. And, okay, so there's 
Twin moons. Inc incarnate overlapping twin moons which strike the ground one after the other, violently shaking the earth with moonlight. In her childhood, she and her elder sister Renala met these moons, overlapping as though nestled against one another. Then there's also this weapon. This weapon is so cool. The Karyan Light Greatsword embedded with blue glintstone. Two swords is a single armament. When two-handing, a straight sword engraved with golden flame will be carried in the left hand, here and here alone, where moon and fire are ever together. But as moon and fire stance, this is basically the new Sonaf. Soon ready stance, swords imbued with magic, follow up with normal attack to cast glintstone light waves, or strong attack to perform a spinning attack that bathes the area of the flame. I will get the swords. I don't know if I have... I did not read what the Remembrance said, actually. I completely forgot. Well, we can maybe duplicate it if we, if we want to later. All right, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. This is the weapon that I used uh, when I was playing off stream. So this is the R1. The R2. You also get L1 with it. The jump attack is like a four hit combo. It's actually insane. Uh, where is the new armor? Yeah, sorry I killed her so fast. Funny enough, when I, when I fought her previously, it was so much harder. That, that bleed weapon just absolutely eliminated her. you alter it? <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it. So, I mean, I could use this weapon for a little bit. I think I would need to go respec, though. I don't know. You guys want me to use this weapon for a bit? Or do you want me to use the bleed? You know, we, we ha- okay, I, I will switch to the weapon in a little bit. We haven't really been using the arcane build for that long, to be fair. I haven't really had a chance to test it on, like, enemies, so... So yeah, this this entire area chat, I have seen nothing. I uh, I kind of made it like a goal of mine not to go up here. I guess I grabbed this map fragment, but. Another fragment. Hello again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation from places as far and wide as you can imagine. 
doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance. Were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us, this is what allows us to serve together. The work of a living god. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the Tower Folk. A cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the Hornsent holds the Earth Tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest. And in this regard, the Tower Folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to Well, the be boss that I wanted to save for stream war. was Bale, which we did. We, we fought him today. It was a fucking insane fight. I mean, I, I ended up killing him kind of quickly. The summon definitely helped. I <clears throat> I wasn't using spirit summons, but there's like an NPC quest line attached to the boss fight. But I think I messed it up. Wondering unfortunately. about the horn scent, are you? True enough. Long ago, a cleanse. No wonder that aside, okay. and in this regard, made the best win. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. Monk's missive. Seek me... Okay, a letter bearing a terse, a terse message and an illustration of a monk, his hands held together. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There is no need for words. I feel like this is going to be the guy that gives me the martial arts. <laughs> Probably. Reveals the location of newly discovered golden crosses. Okay. Mikola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He says the act, though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross. Which is evidence enough to earn my belief. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In the tree of Umbra. Place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. The earth tree faithful. Go to the in that forsake. Is that a giant? Okay, I'm gonna get the map. This area was like super overwhelming. I, I, did, I didn't even want to explore it because it's so... This area has some insane verticality to it. Like, unbelievable. Like here, I'm, I'm gonna go run over here. I, I basically just walked around this area for a little bit. Ember of Mesmer. Yeah, you can ride Torrent in the Elden Beast fight now. Sorry, don't get angry at me. I thought we were friends. All oh, this music. But yeah, look at this chat. Just. Oh, wait, you. I don't actually think you can. Oh, yeah. So. I did something naughty here, chat. Oops. I'm not gonna, you know what, let's not do it this time. Let's not, <laughs> let's not do it this time. You can land on this tree. I 
hoping you can get down here right away. Um, all right. I actually want to go back. Uh, I want to go back here. I was honestly more so just curious, because I, I mean, there's been plenty of, like, strats that we've done in the past where you can fall on a tree. Listen, I found that in a, in a total of, like, one minute, okay? It didn't take long. <laughs> I think it took me, like, two tries. One hit lead procs. <clears throat> How do you acquire the boss armor? You need to go to the Mer uh, Enya in the round table. Dude, shut the shut the act sh actually shut the fuck up, J Ball. Lion's Claw, this weapon is easy mode. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, does the Charger 2 do a... Guaranteed blood? Like, this weapon is good. It is kind of slow, though, I will say. Do I have the martial arts weapon? No. Okay, so I believe if we go up here, this is, leads back to the Elder's Hovel, where we were at before. Spirit Ash. I don't know, there's plenty of good weapons we've found in the DLC so far, to be honest. 
And if you can't bleed, this weapon is kind of, kind of whatever. <laughs> it is definitely, if, if something is weak to bleed though, it is very, very good. Round rock. Round piece of rock shaped by the water's current can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. Found on the ground at places like riverbanks, it breaks easily owing to extensive cracking. This weapon is nice, but it is pretty slow. <laughs> it's pretty slow. What the? Oh, hello. I don't think the trees bleed, do they? they do. Baron. Use FP to summon vengeful spirits around the caster. Hint and faith. Oh, it's like soul mass. And sa the Savage Lion's Claw is so good. I, this build I've got going feels quite OP. A Savage Giant's Hunt? I don't know. Maybe. Does it not go further? Yeah, I kind of dumped on Rolana with this weapon. It felt kind of cheesy, honestly. I...
I could pretty much get a scripted kill on her, I feel like, with this weapon. Oh, hello. This turtle is like old, really old. Two-headed turtle talisman. Greatly raises stamina recovery speed. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient symbolic of inexhaustible power. Two-headed turtles are a favorite subject in the land of the tower due to the spiral shape of their intertwined necks. It's probably pretty good. I don't even, I'm not even sure if I have the normal one. I don't think I do. There's a pot. The mushroom seller's bell bearing. <laughs> okay, so I did actually find this before. <laughs> I was so, like, what the fuck when I found this. <laughs> like, why did they put a bell on a random pot on a random, like, I mean, I guess some people already noticed. And the funny thing is, it's for mushrooms. The bell bearing of a horn scent mushroom seller who did not survive the war. He found everything without us. Now, like I said, everything in this north area, I have not seen. Like all of all of this. I have no idea. <clears throat> I'm not lying. <laughs> Wait a sec. Was there another pathway here? Wait a sec. Which way did I go? Was it this way last time? Yes. Okay, yeah, this is... Yeah, that's where I want. I mean, I'm just going to be real. I'll tell you guys what I've actually seen and what I haven't. I mean, it's probably kind of obvious, I guess. But... Greater Potentate's Cookbook. Hefty Rock Pot. S Strength Scaling. Oh, shit. Filled to the brim with crushed rocks. Nothing clever about it. Throw at enemies to inflict heavy damage.
Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely do a pot only run. Well, if it's possible. I guess more I guess a consumable only run in the DLC would be what we would do. I gotta say, I, de I definitely prefer the flower stone gavel for horseback. It's just so much faster. God, look at how fast this thing swings. Somber 4? Yeah, perfumer run too. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna wanna do, like... I just, I have so many ideas and I don't... It'd be so, so much fun stuff you can do. Oh, you think the lightning will do a lot on this guy? Oh wow, three smithing eights, two smithing six, and a smithing somber six here. A lot of stones. Hey, a hey, Lilis, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you very much. That shot. It's a nice vista. I was once told a coffin. Oh, wait, hold on. I was once told a coffin could convey its passenger upon a gentle cruise to the velvet garden of deepest purple. Oh, to slumber in such a paradise. Wait a second. Oh, shit. We're gonna have to ride a coffin. He's definitely talking about Trina. No, I, I've i been to this area, but I didn't actually talk to that guy. Or if I did, I'd, uh, I, don't, I don't think I talked to that guy. <laughs> I do not remember that at all. Where I want to go. Oh. Bruh, okay, I gotta get off the horse. Fine. I have the dagger throwing weapon, true. The aiming is weird on Torrent. It kind of like locks you to two different angles. Okay, I have no idea what this item is. I didn't even notice this pot. 
Oh, <laughs> go figure, another mushroom bell. What is this gonna have? Toxic mushroom, white flesh. I don't think there's a cave there. There's no cave behind the- I was literally just running along the waterfall. There was nothing there. Right? I mean, that was my first thought as well. But. Oh, I'm sorry. This guy doesn't give me anything like the other one did. Because I hit him? Hold on, let me reload. Oh. There we go. Thank you. I'm sorry I hit you. Lightning proof pickled liver. Okay, so the other one also gave us a pickled liver. So I guess these guys, for whatever reason, <laughs> give cookbooks for all the, the defense livers. It's very random, honestly. Okay, so I don't know what the hell is going on here. Bro is just... He's just got places to be. <laughs> I don't know if there's like some kind of secret with this or what. I killed this guy before. I, I guess it's. I guess he's just here near the bottle. This one scales with faith. I wonder if there's gonna be a perfume that is arcane. But yeah, I tried killing that rolling. I killed I killed this rolling guy before and he didn't drop anything and I felt really bad. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him continue rolling this time. Wait, there's a fucking fire giant here? Where did he come from? Wasn't I literally just here? <laughs> Wait, did he? Do you think he showed up because it's nighttime? Or was I just not, am I just blind? I didn't even notice him. Doubt it. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, wait. Oh, God. I see what he's doing. Is he 
See, I hit that leg. I stunned that leg twice, and he's still not. Hey, Larksa. I guess using my other weapon would probably be better. Well, I could try. Oh my god. Viridian Hidden Tear. Eliminates all stamina consumption. Crystal Tear forms slowly over the ages where the scattered sap of the scattered tree pools deep within the furnace golems. Cons Eliminates all con stamina consumption, only it's only brief. So I guess it's like the Karulian. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, with certain weapons, that's gonna go so hard. I, at least I think. I don't know. You do have, you do get a lot of stamina in this game, though. Like I don't know, I don't know how many weapons that would be relevant for, but there's probably some stuff. Is there anything else over here? Feel like we... I don't know. How many bosses have I done? Uh, two Remembrance bosses. I fought the Lion and Relana. Look for possible coffin. Yeah, maybe there's a coffin. But if there was a coffin, it would be in like the water, right? Uh, 
Uh, the lion's helmet drops, like, he drops it on the ground. It might be in the arena, or maybe, maybe if, I, I don't know. Maybe it's possible to just lose it if you don't pick it up. I don't really know if there's any close spot to get back there. I don't know. Wherever the coffin is, it I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be that obvious. in the corner of the arena. Yeah, he's talking about the lion helm. Uh, okay, let's let's just go back. The Karulian Coast. Oh, this area is so beautiful. Cerulean, whatever, man. Got a map fragment. Uh, which way do I want to go? Yeah, so I explored I explored this area, but I I barely found anything here, so I don't know if I'm just bad at exploring. Or this this is the area that I ran around like five fucking times. Cause I just couldn't find like anything. <laughs> Do enough damage. Alright, hold on. What are these used for? A piece of a gravestone that has started to turn into a spirit. In places to where the dead have been brought since antiquity, the oldest gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. Deep purple lily that is on the verge of wilting grows in the blue flower field at the coast like a syrupy poison. Its nectar lulls the imbiber into sweet 
velvety sleep. Yeah, Chad, I don't want you to tell me where stuff is. I feel like tomorrow I'm probably gonna have to go, like, local sub because a lot of people will have explored other parts of the DLC that I haven't, and Chad is gonna be going crazy with the backseating. So. Oh, look, dude, look at how high up that goes, or rather, how... That's so many tombstones. <laughs> I already know where everything is. Uh, I mean, I'm just exploring, bro. Jumping ahead. Oh god. Dude, I've... Popping like balloons. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Great grave glove wart. Oh, shit. Let's go over to that island. Surely this is the way. Magic flashlight? That is starlight. Isn't it great? A <laughs> lipid creature. No, no, no. Wait, am I going the right way? We made it! The land of the crabs. Killed your child! How could you? <laughs> Perfumed oil of Rana. A deck scaling. Use FP to spout flames forward. A small bo bottle wrapped in a bright, bright red cloth filled with flammable perfume oil. 
The dancers of Rana keep these concealed as they dance, marking their height of their passion with an explosion of searing flame and sweet, enticing scents. Sniffa. You hate me? <laughs> Did I perfect the lion? Hell no. That's why we, we have the rune level 1 run for that. I'm actually so excited to do this rune level 1, man. I mean, not right away, but it'll it'll be fun once I like kind of know the bosses at least a little bit better. I did talk to the old woman with the, the lion helmet, and she gave me a spell, which kind of sucked, but it was, I mean, it's still cool. <laughs> hey, Rise, thank you for the 11 months. I think we've seen swim. Ah, yes. This is Savage Lion's Claw. Lion's Claw wasn't good enough, so they're like, fuck it, let's make it even better. <laughs> the Dancing Blade of Rana and the Dancer's Armor. Uh, let's see. Unending Dance. Decorative swords ablaze with impassioned red, a pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Used by the dancers of Rana, strikes enemies with a dancing assault when executing a strong attack. Unique skill, unending dance. A furious dance formed by a succession of slashing attacks. Hold the button down to sustain the dance for as long as stamina allows.
can go forever. Wait, what is the strong attack? Ooh, it's a triple hit. It's pretty cool. Oh, it has a follow-up too. Scales with purely dex. <laughs> Oh, enhances the power of dancing attacks. The dance of Rana is one of burning passion, and the most passionate dancers never allow their fiery dance to end, losing even a, their names as they dance on. To see the passion fade is to see the dancer's flame extinguished. Oh, they all boost it? Interesting. Huh. Dance build, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's a that's a run right there. Beating the Elden Ring DLC by dancing. <laughs> Dance only full run. All right. Uh, very nice. Let's go back here. I want to get the map piece down there. Yo, what's up, Repstall? Feeling tired yet? A little bit, but not too bad. I, I do kind of want to respec soon. I, I want to try out... Uh, I want to use the Rolana's Twin Blade for a bit. Yeah, so this southern area is the last area that I've explored. And then everything else I have not seen. So. Everything else equals one boss. Come on now. Oh. Oh shit, I don't have holy at all right now. So, you know what, it's fine. We'll just use... Oh wait, we don't want to use foul. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. <laughs> okay. Well, these guys are basically death birds, but dragons, so they get <laughs> they get a little dumb down. I mean, to be fair, it's just a dragon, so I don't really feel too bad just killing them so fast, because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still just, it's still just a dra dragon that we fought a bunch. They're slightly faster, but... Alright, well, yeah, those guys will probably really be really good sources of quick ruins, um, for, like, challenge runs. Because if you can just, I mean, if the holy buffs work against them, you can kill them with, like, you don't even need anything. So, 
southern shore. All right. So yeah, I um, let's see. We're gonna go this way. So yeah, I explored this blue and like red, red area. Um, there is this. I don't know what this is. Over here, but I have not been here. I have not been in any of this either. This whole region. Does the map go any bigger than this? I don't know. But I think the DLC has a lot of verticality to it as well. So, uh... The map isn't really in, uh, super indicative of the size. Half the DLC. I don't... I don't think so. I, I don't... I, I really don't think this would be half. But, I mean, maybe. We'll see, I guess. Time will tell. It's just the... This southern area, has, from what I saw, felt kind of... It felt kind of barren. Like... Not to complain or anything, but... When I was going through this area, I ended up running through it multiple times because I just kept feeling like I was missing something. And I don't... I mean, maybe I did miss stuff. I just... I didn't really find much of, like, anything in this... area. There's messages down there. What do these say? Lord ahead. Bird. Could this be a rat? <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed to me like this, this southern zone basically has no main story content. Well, okay, you'll... Not, not completely, but... I, I feel like the north of the map is super dense, whereas the south is kind of more spread out, and it's more like overworld stuff. But I don't know for sure. like weeping yeah I think that's kind of I actually think that's kind of what how it's set up
I did fight Bale. That fight is is so, so good cinematically. There was a really cool attack that he did, but I, I only saw him do it one of the fights. The, the fight that I killed him, he didn't even do the, like, super epic attack. He did it once per fight. Did he did he do it again the, the other fight? I, I swear he didn't, but maybe maybe I I didn't realize. What is this? Saint Trina's Disciples Cookbook. Eternal sleep grease. So yeah, this is a thing. And when I I'd like what the fuck? <laughs> Coats armament inflicting eternal sleep. The effect lasts only for a short time. Now that's not the sleep. The it's the like the buff on the weapon. I think only lasts for a short time. But the weak are powerless to resist this velvety sleep and will never be roused again. So you can just put something to sleep forever. I guess. <laughs> Down into the hole. Oh, God. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of uh, Radon's crater. So many sl uh, slugs, slimes, whatever. It's a golden gate! So yeah, I found this golden gate. No idea what's behind here, but whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool as fuck, I have a feeling. <laughs> Sealed and obscured by Mikola. The Fisher. I have no idea what's behind it, but I'm fucking so pumped to see it, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think so, Daring Pastry. I think so. You think that the eternal grease won't wake up the enemies at all unless you attack? Well, I think if you attack, though... What is this? Hold on, I want to go over it this way. I think if you... In, in the description for it... It says that they will never be roused again, but it says that it's only... It's the weak are powerless to resist this, so it probably doesn't work on bosses, maybe only, like, enemies? I don't... I don't know. I actually have no idea. I should probably try it on, like, a ruined bear. Or, or a bear or something. I don't know, would that be a weak... Like, what is a weak enemy? I mean, bears are kind of strong.
Nectar Blood Burgeon. A young shoot heavy with velvety purple nectar, exceedingly rare to find, said to burgeon forth where the nectar-like blood of abandoned Trina pool. Maybe Trina is down at that gate? I don't know. I abandon here my doubt and vacillation. Rare to find, but can hold 999. True. What do we got here? Eternal Sleep Pot. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna try this on somebody. He's dead. Another grave glove wart. All right, let's. Oh, yeah, let's go respec when we find the next grace. Oh yeah, the NPC in front of the castle probably does have more dialogue. I think you're right. How was the DLC? It is fantastic. Are there hands on the beach? I don't know. Or just... I don't know. Uh, you'll have to ask Vadi. How far am I to the end? I'm pretty far, I think. Oh wait, oh this deals heavy damage to dragons, I didn't even realize. Oh that would explain why I was also doing so much to that one ghost flame dragon. I was hitting for like 5 or 6k, I mean I had the, I had the buffs on but I guess this thing has anti-dragon effects as well. Planning on finishing tonight? No, hell no, no shot.
Uh, I have an arcane build right now. This place is so fucking cool, man. I found this place, and I have literally no idea what this place is, or I have- I just don't know. <laughs> I have literally no idea. Oh yeah, I was gonna respec. So close to being a two shot. What do you think this is going to do, chat? It's time to duplicate. <laughs> Yeah, I can read it now. Remembrance of Relana, the twin moon knight, hewn into the Skadu tree, the power of its namesake. Uh, yeah, yeah. When Zakarian princess Relana disavowed her birthright and chose to stand at Mesmer's side instead, knowing full well that not even the brilliance of the moon could grant him succor, before long she became known as the Sword of Mesmer. Okay, I don't know if I want to duplicate anything yet. Yeah, apparently there there are boss do when I found this I was just like what the what the fuck? This is the only thing I found in this area. <laughs> this is the only thing. But I'm going to go explore again cuz I I don't know. I feel like there's something I missed, but so there I am being honest with you. I do really good damage to these guys. This area is so sick. Oh, wait a sec. Is this another... Is this another pathway? This isn't... Wait, is this where I came from? No. Wait, what the? Finger Mimic? I never found that before. What is this? Light pink mushroom resembling a wizened finger. Exceedingly rare to find. Used by those who wish to become fingers to induce hallucination. They call these mushrooms the stillborn of the two fingers. Oh, shit! 
He was doing nothing before. Whoops. It's fine, I have 58 rune arcs left. I just wanted to read the lore, man. That kind of looks like a cave over there, doesn't it? Blake likes stone shard with a faint fingerprint engraving, found at finger runes, a piece that came loose from the tip of one of the column-like stone fingers that grow at finger runes. The lava dungeon and the coffin thing? Are you, you mean the... Like the, the dungeon that didn't have a boss in it? So yeah, that was kind of weird. What's a good strength faith weapon to use? Um, I don't know, it's hard to say. The hammer at the start of the DLC is pretty good. Think? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I think the game might have it on by default, but I don't know. I mean, Elden Ring is capped at 60F by, de by default. The Finger Weaver's Hop. Glinting Nail. Nail stone with shining fingerprints floating above. Use FP to fling a magic nail that crumbles during flight. The lampreys that guard the finger runes resemble fingers far more than they do humans, and so the finger weavers imitated their sorcery. Aha! My theory is proven true. The finger creepers hail from these runes. So now must I sound this one hanging bell, and sweetly cradled shall I come to be at the bosom of the exalted mother. Oh, you know what? We found a bear chat. Here we go.
Okay, so the question is, do you think we can just kill him while he's slept? Yep. And I get it. Wow, you get increased damage. Poor guy. This weapon must be crazy. This other weapon I have is disgusting. Look at this weapon. 217 blood loss buildup. <laughs> and, and on top of that, now you're like, oh, 217. Yeah, that's crazy. But what's even crazier, Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when ex executing a strong attack. So, if you do a strong attack, you get m even more bleed buildup than the 217. I'm pretty sure it does like 300. You, li you literally bleed proc enemies in one R2. It's ridiculous. Is there anything else over here? Way too little stuff in the southern area, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I explored the southern area, but... I, I really didn't find too much. I think there's only one dungeon that we have left that, and then everything else is completely new content. If it changes later on, it's possible, yeah. Might just be more of like a lore area as well. Been saying that. I have, I have not been saying that. I literally never said that. All right, I want to explore this runes a little bit more. So that spirit said that if you ring the hanging bell, you will be what? What? What did it say? It'll like take you to the bosom of the mother. <laughs> bosom of what was it? So I came over here. This looks like a bell, kind of, right? I mean, a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. But you can't hit it. What the fuck? Oh, I think he got killed by one of the grabby things.
I mean, it said try storm, but I don't even know what that means either. I really don't know. It's probably just a BS message. I really don't think you throw the finger at it. I don't know, guys. I think... Okay, so my theory is that these two places are connected. Because they look the same, right? I don't know. I never went up to this area, but if they look similar. It looks like a finger, a finger area. So. Let's see, is there any other grace around here? It's kind of a far run to get back. Yeah, chat, you don't need to... You don't need to tell me. Eat the finger mimic, I don't think so. As you can see, this area is barely... It's barely, like, barren, though. I... There's definitely something here. I have no doubt about that. I have found two new spirit summons, I believe. Okay. So. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is go to the red region. And then we are in... Completely unknown territory. Yeah, let's go respect. By Arcane. No. Wait, hold on. I need to see what what is this? I would but what is the scaling? Okay, it's I C for everything.
right. Renala's Twin Blade. Here we go. Uh, is there any other new spells we could put on? I don't think we found actually too many new spells. Yeah, there was a new spell from Rilana, but it required, what, 72 int? <laughs> Harpoon bristling with sharp gravel stones thrown at enemies to inflict heavy damage has an anti-dragon effect. Tool of the old dragon communion warriors who were the agents of the ancient dragon's hatred for their lowborn descendants. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just like, oh. Don't die. check the altar again. Oh yeah, maybe I've unlocked some new stuff. It's not a bad idea. This DLC is so peaceful. Yeah, they did such a good job at actually making it like they really captured the feel of the base game with the exploration. It's so good. We found a lot of a lot of stuff that I actually missed on my previous run, which I'm happy about. Some of them have been RNG drops, but like this, this, so do we know for sure this weapon I got, this bleed weapon, is this, um, is this an RNG drop? Cause man, I actually wouldn't be surprised if that could be like a speed run weapon. It's, it's kind of cracked. an RNG drop. It's from the ogres. Yeah, I think you're right that it just drops from them ogre guys.
Was it on the ground? Gravekeeper's card. Holterstone. Makes a noise imitative of human presence. Creates noises imitative of human presence where it lands when thrown. Said to have been used by the solitary gravekeepers to distract themselves from their longing for company. Also, wait, I just realized I I missed what, oh fuck. I missed the RTSR Ash of War. I don't know where it is, but I didn't get it this time. Unless they moved it. I mean, he's in the water, so I guess fire is probably not that good. Maybe the magic attack will be better. cookbook. The Call of Tibia. I, mean, I want to try these furnace pots too. I feel like they're probably really, really good. Uses FP to summon one lost in death. An ancient ceremonial tool that uses a gravekeeper's skull as a catalyst. Uses FP to summon one lost in death at the spot that it is thrown. The creature spins and mows down foes in the vicinity three times before dissipating. The dead have been long left to wander. What they need is leadership. Yeah, consumable only run is going to go kind of crazy. There's so many different consumables. Yeah, the twin blade is cool. I don't... I definitely think there's better weapons in the DLC, but it's it's very flashy. I should probably put on the the shard. Oh, we got one. Last Rites is my new favorite spell, man. <laughs> so good. Oh, a new... Wait a second. I think these birds are undead. I think you get undone, undead damage bonus against the birds. Maybe weak to magic, maybe. Spectral rings of light. It's int and faith. Okay, so we could use this. 
Sorcery practiced by the keepers of the spirit graves where all death ultimately drifts. Creates rings of spectral light that fire in unison, charging enhances potency. The rings of light have the same qualities as ghost flame and deal magic damage while causing frost buildup. Yo, I wonder, that spell might be really good for PvP if it's anything like triple rings of light. Triple rings of light is so good. It's so hard for people to dodge. It does seem like the birds are mainly smithing stone fours, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it is weird that they drop fours. Don't end stream. Well, the stream will end at some point. I don't know. I probably got like another hour or two left in me. I'm getting a. I'm starting to feel kind of tired. We have been streaming for 13 hours, so. Spirit Glade. Rancor Slash. Spin around slashing foes while summoning vengeful spirits. A glaive that has seen many years of use in the gravesite, said to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. It's pretty cool. No, I'm not on NG+. Ghost Flame Bloom. Ghost Flame flower that grows in grave sites, blossoms in the hidden grave of Karo. Of a pair with another gravesite flower, the grave violet, all but incorporeal, it burns without so much as a sound. It doesn't even say it's used for crafting items, so... I don't really know what that's for. Oh, a deathbird wants to go. A new game. Damn, 230,000 for that guy. Ghost Flame Call. Ooh. Thrust out armament to summon Ghost Flame. Follow up with a normal str Wait. They added death. They added. It's basically Death Poker, right? But as an Ash of War. 
That's what it looks like. Should you play DLC in NG plus three? I play them whatever you want. But don't, don't worry about it, man. You'll have fun either way. I haven't actually found too many new spells yet. Gravekeeper's brain pan? Skull bone of an old gravekeeper may be found in the hidden grave. The old gravekeepers are boatsmen and continue to summon the dead even after withering away. Oh yeah, we got this too. Rancor pot. Heavy rancor pot. Ah, that's what the ghost flame boom boon is for. Can I not get up there? Hmm. Oh, that's where I was before, I think. It's a purple item in the middle of six ogres in a little town. Okay, well that's good that it's not RNG. Mr. Hippo. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my god. That actually did a lot of damage. You know, it's funny though, because I thought this guy would be a boss. Oh, he drops a fragment. Nice. There is probably a boss version somewhere, yes. That seems likely. Am I the only one that just doesn't feel like killing these little worm guys? They just... It's not like they can chase you or anything, so...
So there's a path that goes down there. This more Deathbird armor. I found two pieces of Deathbird armor so far, I think. Yeah, it looks okay. I haven't found the full set yet, though. So, the thing... This guy has armor on his legs, and I don't know... I don't know how you're meant to kill him. Maybe you can break the armor? I don't really know. Gravebird ashes? Spirit of an old golem and spirit grave keeper who flies with stone wings and spouts ghost flame. According to legend, the grave birds were crafted to be kindred to the death birds. Gosh. I want to go down this way. Cricket that produces a raspy cry. The sound of these crickets are often taken to be the rustling of the restless dead or sometimes the sound of their calling voices. to the cave. Hey, French fry, thank you for the love months. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the last dungeon I did. Like, after this, I'd, I really don't think there's anything else left. Oh, there's one spot in the blue area that I still think I haven't... Oh, it's locked. There's one spot in the blue area that I think I haven't done. Wait, am I blind?
Oh my. Oh my god. Lament la lamentation? Amidst a blissful lamentation, the voice resounds, seeping into the brain, weeping, 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 ever weeping. Please, I can't stand the sound. I need no salvation. Please stop, desist, your wretched lamentation. I'm sorry. level key. Opens the iron grating on the upper level. Okay. We found that earlier. Frost perfume. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do a perfume run. It seems like there's Probably a bottle for like every type. Stop, <laughs> Stop screaming. I have no heals left. This is not good.
I beat Mesmer. I have no idea where he is, and I don't want to know where he is. Oh! Aha! Another call of Tibia. Let's try this thing. It's Inton Faith, so it might be good. Is there another pathway this way? I don't know, I'm I'm con I'm confused. Just chilling. Hey guys. Shard. Oh. Got a key. I'm gonna go, guys. Here, let's test the call of Tibia. Okay. Almost fell there. I came from up this way, right? You know what? I gotta bust. I gotta bust out this. Wait a sec, there was something... There was a ladder here. Blasphemous Blade. Four thousand. <laughs> what is this? Int, Arcane, and Strength? Uh, should have tried this when I had my other build before. Are you sure? Are you guys sure this thing got nerfed? <laughs> Cl 
Clarifying Horn Charm 2. Vastly raises focus. Ceremonial accoutrement worn by Horn Scent. Horns are sublime artifacts to Horn Scent, and their presence confirms the belief that they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangled horn, which is viewed as an irrefutable symbol of primacy. Okay, so that's that just shows us where that previous area we went was, where we found the key. I went up, or well, hold on, there was the illusory wall here, right? Somewhere down here? Lamenting Visage. Blindhold of, blindfold of happiness, a stone lantern carved to resemble a lamenting human head, the eyes vacantly beaming out light, can be raised up when equipped in the left hand, illuminating more of the surrounding area. It's the skull lantern chat! The unusual expression somehow imparts a sense of contentment, the languid ease of one who needs not sight. Swing the head while covering the eyes, unleashing a wail of lamentation while temporarily making the user of the skill harder to see. To those who seek happiness, blindness is bliss. Does give a lot of light. It's I guess it's like the conceal what is it called? The concealing veil? I think. There's not even a stake here, and I have no heals. Going in, Viz. some heals. Oh. oh wait, I do have a stake now, actually.
What is on my back? What is that? Audio seems strange. I'm not sure. Okay. This thing is going to be really fun for challenge runs, chat. Also, this boss is so weird. I, I feel like they just wanted to remake Pinwheel or something. A stone mask twisted into an expression of rapturous grief used while disrobed to transform into a lam lamenter. The change cannot be done except by death. Using this mask will already transform causes the head to swell in size. This transformation ta tallies with the state of a denizen of paradise, but the people of the tower denied and hid it from the world. In their foolishness, they viewed true bliss with deep fear. So, uh, yeah. There's two dragon forms. And this one does this. <laughs> Head smash only run. Skills B with strength. Seems like it's just all strength. Uh, but yeah, we okay, so we got that. I think we've basically seen everything in this red area. So, uh, yeah, chat. The, we are basically at the point uh, where I was in when I played off stream. Obviously we killed Bale this time and we definitely found some more stuff. I don't know where, where is that RTSR Ash of War? I swear it was like in the castle front or something. It's in Bellarat, is it? Oh no, you're right, I did miss an area in Bellarat. Yeah, we'll go back to the NPC uh, after this. But where is it in this place? I think it's here. Can I go... I think it's out this way. All right, how much does the mass do? 280, oh God. Yeah, that's a, definitely a challenge run item if I've ever seen one. All right, man.
those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet in death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Oh my. Kind of cracked. I've got the high ground now, buddy. That was my words. <laughs> the insane roll catches, man. Crusade insignia. Raises attack power after defeating an enemy. Ah yes. A talisman depicting depicting a raised spear on a backdrop of flames in remembrance of the lives lost in the sacred crusade led by Mesmer. Raises attack power after defeating an enemy. The warriors who fought in the crusade set aside both honor and mercy to wantonly impale and scorch those deemed impure. Those who felt invigorated by each cry of death were the same men who were, absurd, were certain of the sanctity of the campaign. Oh, you know what? Let's use the cameo. Alright, check out this Ash of War though, guys. Shriek of Sorrow, skill utilized by the downtrodden, scream, causing nearby enemies to flinch while also recalling deep-seated resentment, boosting attack power based on the amount of HP remaining. The lower the HP, the greater the effect. So, I don't know how much it gives, but we can test it out, I guess. I've been using the fragments, yeah, I'm not trying to make it, like, painful, like, super painful or anything. Quality plus 558. <laughs> That's so much. I'm scaling. to heal myself like a tiny amount. Alright. That's good enough. Let's see. So we're at 1100. 1400. That gave me 300 damage. What is that, like a 25% increase or something? It's 
1764. else that can boost it but damn yeah that's crazy dude red red feather with this ash of war and oh my god and then twenty four hundred damage And that's without, like if I put a, if I put the charge attack, oh my god, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't be surprised if you kitted this weapon correct, I mean, I'm, there's probably other weapons that would be even better, but like, man, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you hit like 10,000 with this weapon. Alright, yeah, let's, we can level up, I guess. Ah, yes, some more arcane, that's just what I needed. Uh, what was the other talisman I was using? Yeah, I went to the sewers. Okay, so... We have all of this to explore. This whole northern region. And also, there's a map icon down here. And like... Oh yeah, we'll go to the guy at the gate. Yeah, th thank you for reminding me. Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained. Look, look at where this is. It's like under... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Alright, so... Like I said, we basically have this whole northern region. There's also a map icon up here. I'm gonna go to the Morth Highway and explore this area here. Dude, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, Cerulean, and I don't want to know. Uh, alright. We'll, we'll probably just go, honestly, chat, I think we'll probably go local sub tomorrow because I think everybody is going to be telling me where they want me to go to go fight, whatever. Do you think this abductor takes you somewhere? I doubt it. It's kind of in a weird place, though. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, no, no never mind, no shot.
Oh, right. Yeah, I was gonna go to the gate, and I forgot again already. Classic. In less than two minutes, yep. I did say I was scatterbrained. up with this guy? Is this guy different or something? <laughs> Six, eight smithing stone sixes. Holy moly. That's a lot. Oh? Ah, another blessing. Nice. Okay, let's go to the gate before I forget again, and we'll talk to more. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Well, I am much obliged to think there was a cross left in such a faraway place. And the deep purple water lilies would be blooming there. This can only mean kindly Mikola has divested himself even of that. His adoring other self. His blossom of slumber. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Okay. Welcome. Oh, I know. Give this to Diolier. Oh, the he poison guy. Find it. I finally found it. Black syrup. Many things we have. For I like for you things. Okay. Goodbye. Quest line of some su some sort. Uh, here's Teolier. deserve your share of the reward. I'll mix up something special. If you find yourself weary of the weight of this life, then just give me the word. Sleep is a balm. An eternal sleep is an elixir. Uh. Is that so? Then take this. This concoction can coax even the oldest of dragons to sleep. For you. It will grant the sweetest Wait, slumber what? for all the eternity. oldest of dragons to sleep. Are you telling me I can like put Bale to sleep or what? What the hell is this? Cause immediate death if imbibed by an ordinary human. An ebony black concoction mixed by Teolier, condensed somnifer somniferous elixir purported to be capable of putting even an ancient dragon to sleep. For an ordinary mortal, a single sip would assuredly result in swift and certain death. Theolier thought of St. Trina's sleep when he created this, but the ebony sleep he concocted had not the sweetness of nectar, nor the gentleness of rest's embrace. Huh. I don't know if he's talking about Bale. I mean, Bale is like a super old dragon, right? So... Huh. 
Huh. Can I get another one? I, I don't know if you get multiple is the thing. I'm not using that, chat. Not yet, anyways. It's not an ancient dragon? Yeah, maybe. No. Okay, I mean, we can check to see if this guy has any new stock. Same with the other guy. I don't think they're going to, but I will check. Oh, he does sell it. 30,000. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I already talked to him again uh, oh my god guys Jesus Christ every time I fucking teleport away it's like oh yeah go do this so uh... okay he has nothing to say I mean, it's kind of implied, chat, that you're meant to use it on, like, a dragon. Welcome. You come, you enjoy things. Oh? I like finding things. I like you. I like you, too. I like for you, Lady Letter, things. Bring goodbye. <laughs> Most of the dungeon bosses have been pretty easy, but oh shit. to bust out my my last rights So fucked. Why is there 17 enemies on this boss? You 
use this sleeping thing on it. I can't use... I can't just... I can't, like, throw the sleeping pod. Alright, I'm just gonna wave of gold all these guys. Got him. Oh, somber stone. Oh, the repeating crossbow. We got Gale's crossbow. Repeating fire. Crossbow only run incoming. Oh, big invis wall. Alright, let's go check out this little pool. How big is DLC compared to normal game? Um, wait a second. I never went to that tower. Up here. How am I going to go to bed if you keep streaming? Uh, I'm not going to go much longer. I'm getting pretty tired. I'm feeling the fatigue. I've been streaming for a long time. Am I gonna sleep? Because I want to enjoy the DLC. And I don't want to be sleepy. I just wanna explore I wanna explore this area a little bit. Rump. Oh, there's a sealed spirit spring somewhere. Here now. More smithing stones. 
These guys drop so many smithing stones. It's wild. How many levels have I gotten since we started? Nine levels in the DLC? Not bad. Oh, we got a cross up here. Did I lose souls one time? Uh, maybe. I abandon here my eye. Am I done with the DLC? No. Not even close. Many of these pleb enemies, dude. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm feeling a little tired. I'm not gonna be going too much longer, I don't think. Oh. Doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, the tower, right. Yeah, we do need to go to the tower still. Oh, what is this thing? Oh. 
Oh, you think this is another pickle guy? Aha! Spellproof pickled liver. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm incredibly excited to play tomorrow as well because, I mean, everything that I have left in the DLC is completely new. I I have not seen anything anymore. Like all of this is completely new to me. So. Around what time am I gonna play tomorrow? I'll probably sleep like six, seven hours, and then probably stream at like 10 a.m. Oh, Ruined Forge of Starfall Past by Grace. If I e'er see another rock, I shall find it. Of this I have no doubt. The altar of the forge cannot be far. Ooh, shit. I wonder if this forge will have a boss. Dude, so many smithing stones. Honestly, I do think upgrading a weapon in the DLC does seem pretty doable. Like, if, if you rush both of the forges, you could definitely get a weapon. Because the Fort of Reprimand over here had, what was it, like, seven smithing fives and eight smithing sixes. And then after the fort, there was, like, eight more smithing sixes. And then in here, there's a bunch of smithing fives. So, you could definitely rush... You could definitely rush Moog with, like, a plus 12 weapon. And then... Probably upgrade in DLC. Or maybe even, like, a plus 5 or plus 6. But I find... I think finding the smithing 3 and 4 is maybe kind of hard. Smith script spear. Can I throw it? Ah... I aggroed this guy. Three, three. Oh. Now, funny enough, I think that there is one dungeon that I missed, chat. I actually found it when I played, played previously, and like I found it, but then I, I, I just grabbed the grace in the dungeon and then I like left. I could have sworn it was somewhere down, fuck me, I don't remember where it was. There was one dungeon though that, uh, where is it? No. I play I played before for around 10 hours I would say total Did nothing.
Oh my god, a somber seven! We found it! casters do here? I don't know. Run away. <laughs> Is he like petting the, the, the slime there? Oh, wow, a somber eight. Okay. Okay, then. Interesting. There's a seven and an eight here. That's pretty big. There, there's... What does this do? Enhances weapon throwing attacks. Oh shit. A talisman depicting an ancient smithing hammer inscribed with a smith script. In ancient times, smithing was a divine act and blacksmiths interpreted the script they perceived in the wrinkles of molten steel to imbue weapons with souls. Okay, did I miss a pathway back here then? I guess I had to have. I have to drop there, but that's back where... That's back where I was before. Unless it just looks the same, which... Maybe that's the case. Maybe there's a ledge. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I'm getting confused. I do have the drop down. Whoopsies. I guess I should have saw the item there. That guy's friendly. Was there anything up here? It was a jebate, yeah, they made it look the same. I mean, I guess maybe not a jebate, but... I mean, you could see the item there, I suppose. Ah, that's why you can do it. What are we gonna get? An ancient smithing stone? Oh, shit! Ancient meteoric or greatsword? Oh, it's an arcane weapon. <laughs> Time to go back to arcane. One of the treasures of the ruined forges, great sword of ancient meteoric ore ending in a sharp point, fashioned from an excavated shard of an arrowhead that once was a part of the go old god's arsenal, a capable piercing weapon that excels at thrusting attacks, summons white light from the crevice in the weapon's ancient meteoric ore using its power for a charging attack which pierces foes. Additional input causes the light to explode. That sounds pretty cool. Where is it? Oh my god, look at this thing. Oh my... Ugh! Are you kidding me? My god. Okay. Well. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you can change the direction on the thrust. Didn't explore other side of gate. Wait, what? Oh fuck, you're right, inside the forge. Wait, was there anything else there? Oh god damn it. I don't think there uh, uh You're right. Are we sure it's just the lever? It's fine, we have both the gates open. Oh wait, no we don't. Right. But we know where to go, it's fine. We just run through here, we climb the ladder.
Okay, there is an item. Oh, it's a backhand blade. A circular backhand blade engraved with the smith script, a throwing weapon created through the smithing art. Execute a strong attack to throw the backhand blade, causing it to fly in a curved trajectory. Okay, it also has blind blind spot. I think that's it. No. Okay, hold on. I want to go check this pool real quick. lobsters. I don't think this weapon is that great against these guys. Nothing here. Just two angry lobsters.
Mesmer fire grease. Oh, nice. Looks like I can maybe get up, go up in that. I gotta see if I can get in there, Chad. You have to turn on the new item menu in your settings. There is nothing. I feel like I found anything of great value in this rune so far, but maybe I missed something. These enemies are whack. You want to see new weapon in action? Ah, uh, yeah, we should try it. All right. Another fragment. Shadow Sun. Oh, what is this? Found near the scatter tree, a large flower that blooms facing the scatter tree. These flowers veiled in shadow and covered in impenetrable thorns are suffused with profound holiness, much akin to the scatter tree itself. Please tell me that please tell me this is what I think it is. Yes! 
An air tree incantation discovered in the realm of shadow fires a projectile towards distant allies that greatly restores HP on contact. They brought back projectile heal for the viewer runs. This whole time, every time I was playing Dark the last time I did a viewer run in DS3, I was just like, I was so happy to use projectile heal again. So basically in Dark Souls 3, they added the spell in the DLC, and I was, I was hoping very much that they would add the spell in, uh, in the Elden Ring as well, and they did. Oh. Through here goes. I am getting pretty fucking tired though, Chad. I'm, I'm definitely gonna call it a night soon. Kinda wanna find it. I wanna find another grace, or maybe I'll just. Is there any grace around here? It doesn't really look like it. I might just. I just need to remember that I can go through here. I, I, I don't think I'll forget about that. Um. Okay, before I call it a night, I think we're going to go up to this tower and check this spot. See you guys. Oh. This feels like it might be harder to free aim. Oh yeah, this is gonna- this seems kinda actually kinda awkward. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Like... The DS3 one is definitely a lot better. In terms of aiming. <laughs> Lock onto the boss and hope they he does it, yeah. I don't even think I'm going the right way. I think I need to go... Well, Millennia's Great Rune got buffed in the last patch. Dude, I still haven't figured out what to use Rata Fruit for. How have I not found that yet?
Oh shoot. Yeah, this is where we met Egon the first time. Uh, well, there was like a ancient dragon invader man. Suppressing pillar. Oh, it goes down! Oh, wait, no. It goes up. I'm stupid. Of course it goes up. <laughs> it's a tower. The very center of the lands between all manners of death wash up here only to be suppressed. Huh. What the hell does that mean? Oh, dude, I have found so many ancient stones. I have nine. I have not found as many sombers, though. I have three, though, which is still plenty, honestly. Okay. I feel like there's something more here. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what, but... I mean, maybe at nighttime? Mm, did I explore over... down there? Wait a sec. All manners of death. Wait, 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 wait. All manners of death wash up here only to be suppressed. What if I use the suicide pot? I doubt anything's gonna happen, but... It's worth a shot. We got the twigs anyways. Yeah, okay, I don't know what's going on with that tower. I, I guess I'm gonna go look to see if... Make sure I didn't miss anything over on that little edge, but... Fucking shit, yeah, well... Uh, we tried. There, I, it seems like, I feel like there's something to that tower. Maybe it's just lore, though. It could just be lore. Or maybe... I mean, who knows? Maybe there will be, like, a world state change. Or I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just grasping at straws here. Uh, okay, well... I feel like we explored this pretty well, then. I don't know if we missed anything up here. Honestly, I think we did a... Uh, Pretty, pretty solid job. I still, I don't know. It's weird to me that they're, the only dungeon in the south area is the Lamenter's Jail. I feel like I missed something, but... Never tested the new weapon. We'll test it tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna call it a night here. 
I'm very tired. I think I'm like ready for bed. We have had a pretty solid session, I would say. Um, yeah, we still have so much left to see, guys. So down here, there is a golden fog gate that is blocked by Mikola. So there's probably some kind of main story boss here. I don't know if this is going to lead to St. Trina. Uh, there was a spirit that we found that mentioned that you need to find, like, a... Uh, a coffin that will take you to the like deep land of purple or something like that so i don't know if that's like hidden or what uh and then we also have this golden fog gate uh he was like he was like in the river that goes under the map here I don't want you guys to tell me shit. Honestly, tomorrow I think I'm probably gonna go local sub because I'm afraid the back seating is gonna be really bad. But uh, but yeah, guys, I am uh, I'm gonna call it a night. It has been a, uh, it has been so much fun playing this game, uh, playing the DLC so far. And tomorrow is all brand new content that I have never seen. So, I mean, like obviously I had a lot of fun today, and we found a lot of stuff as well. Um, which I had missed the previous time, but, but yeah, I have not seen any of this in the north, or whatever this is. This area, I'm pretty sure, hold on, let's, let's go over here and take a look. Like, you, you can go here, which is crazy. Like, this is a zone. It's like under. I'm pretty sure this is the poison, the poison swamp, because you can see a bit of green down here, and there's like these roots. So, you can get down there, I don't know how. My, my thought is that you need to go to Bonnie Village here, and then cross this, and go down this way, but... By the way, I'm not asking anybody to tell me. I'm just speaking out loud. Uh, but yeah, the verticality in this northern area is just mind-blowing. I'm, I'm so excited to explore this part tomorrow. And then we still have this area up here, too. I, man, it's just... Tomorrow is going to be a crazy day. I can't wait. Alright, have a great rest of your night, everybody. I'm gonna find somebody to raid, maybe. Um, I will probably sleep for like six or seven hours, and then uh, I will be back in the morning. So. Yeah, I will see you guys then. Thank you all so much for uh, for watching today. Thank you for being here for uh, for my first playthrough. It's been, it's been a very long stream, but... Uh, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Tomorrow is going to be insane. I, it's all brand new. Like I, I do. Like it, it was a little unfortunate. Like I feel kind of bad that you know I've obviously seen like a good amount of the stuff we did today, but you know it is what it is. But now, now we are in uncharted territory, and I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking pumped, man. We'll, uh, we'll respect for the sword tomorrow. Look at the weapon art on this thing, by the way, chat. Oh, fucking cool. All right, guys. Are you able to fall asleep with these thoughts about the game, bro? I'm really tired. 
I, I've been streaming for 15 hours. I, uh... As, as excited as I am for the DLC, like, my fatigue... My 15 hours of streaming is... Take, takes it out of me. <laughs> Yeah, we are going to get some rest, and we will be back tomorrow refreshed for another super long stream. But yeah, thank you guys again. Seriously, I know there's so many people streaming Elden Ring, so thank you, thank you guys all so much for uh, for being here for my my first playthrough. It means a lot, guys, and especially since like I I already played the DLC a little bit. You know, I was. Yeah. Th thank you guys all for being here. <clears throat>